Okay, well, we probably lost everybody, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can save it. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Sorry for the confusion. Oh, God. Uh, now it's all the things open. Cool. Oh, boy. Hey, if anyone's still in the other chat, can you go tell the other guys <laughs> that we had to restart the stream? Just to save us that little bit of confusion there. I'd appreciate it. Sorry. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. All right, let's see here. I'm going to scoot on over, make sure this is all working as intended. No, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much, too. Try to pick some music, too, while we're waiting. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's, uh, you know, this feels appropriate. Let's start here. There we go. That feels right. And our Dark Souls doesn't want to work either. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be one of those mornings, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good morning, good night, good evening. Whatever is going on for you, I hope you're doing well. It's uh, it's certainly been a week so far, I'll tell you what. But anyway, as soon as Dark Souls decides to actually work for me, we will get this party started. Yeah, do the old Control-Alt-Delete here, hold on a second. Get that out of there. There we go, that's better. Right, let's try this again. Oh, goodness gracious. But yeah, again, if anyone is in the other one, uh, in the other live stream, apologies if things got a little weird there. If you could, someone send a few feelers out to that tab if you have it open. Let them know that we had to switch it over. Oh, boy. But any case, hello. What are we doing today? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, we are going to do daggers only, apparently. Brayden. Start the stream off with a bang. A round of S's for our favorite patient's column. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. But, yeah, as I was saying, uh, what we're doing today, we are going to do a daggers only run. Um, didn't think that this would be something people would want, considering it sounds relatively easy. But apparently, people really want to see the daggers. So what we're going to do to kind of mitigate the fact that uh stabby stabby feels right um and to mitigate the fact that th this is probably going to be an easier run because daggers are really good if you know how to use them we don't need a master key um let's just take a little bit of extra health why not uh, but yeah, to mitigate that fact, what we're going to do is we're probably just going to showcase every dagger we come across. So while there's a couple daggers that are really good and that I would rather stick with, um, we are going to do our best to just kind of showcase them all and get as many as we can. So here's hoping. Here's hoping. Daggers are definitely one of my favorite weapons, though. Um, pretty much in every game I play, it seems like uh, if a, if the game system has like a parry and repost, and it actually emphasizes like you know giving daggers a little extra crit. Oh man, I'm all about it. Can you use the parry dagger? Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> dagger man, collect them all. Yeah, there you go. Ghost dagger. If it drops, we'll try. If you guys have any other challenges you'd like to see, like, in combination, let me know. I don't guarantee that we'll be doing it. Uh, but if something sounds interesting, that'd be pretty cool to kind of include. Otherwise, we'll just be doing as many uh, daggers as we can, and then, you know, slowly moving our way through the series as we've been doing, like, with the crossbow and everything else. Nicholas, a member for three months, thank you for rejoining. Is this going to be with or without parries? Oh, we're parrying. But that said, to kind of make things a little bit more complicated, I am not going to allow myself to use any shields because that a shield is not a dagger. However, I can put a dagger in the other hand and parry with that. So that'll be fine. 
Jürgen! What about a firebomb that explodes into daggers? Uh, show me that mod and I will download it instantly. Do throwing knives count for this run? No, no, I don't think so. Lemon watches paint dry. <laughs> I think you're talking about the, uh, the painting miniatures stream. Uh, which uh, probably won't happen for until we get to about a million, so. Because I don't have a camera. And I worry about accidental face reveals. So until we hit that million mark, anything that involves a camera, I'm going to have to hold off. Going to finally become the parry master? That's right, we're going to parry the world. Yeah, yeah. Grace! Howdy dowdy! <laughs> Haven't heard that said before. Been a fan for a while, never messaged before, but I feel like donating for the fire or dra dagger funds. And now for a question, which monster in Dark Souls 1 is the most stabbable and why? These are the real questions there. Thank you so much for the donation, I really appreciate you. Um, God, I don't even know. Most stabbable? I know which ones are the most stabby, which would be like the phalanx. Those guys stab like crazy. Um, most stabbable. Probably these draglings, honestly. They're so they're very easy to uh, they're very easy to stab, and honestly, a lot of fun to stab and practice on. So, but good question, good question. <laughs> and there's that bleed that we're going to be seeing so often. Excited about that bleed damage. Basically every threat hit. And that's why the dagger is good. <laughs> Jesus. That's upsettingly good. Holy hell. Alright, well, that's dead. Give me key. There we go. Alright. Easy peasy. The lad goes at it once again. That's right. You know, we might actually see, um... We might actually see past Ornstein and Smoda today. Who knows? Do all daggers have the bleed effect? No. No, they do not. But they all have something a little bit special about them, so... Hi, Ate. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the wallpapers. Thank you so much for joining. Is dual wielding a thing in Dark Souls 1? Technically, no. Technically, no. But we're gonna do it anyway. So we need a few souls to go buy a dagger from the first merchant. That's not a problem. One of these days I'm going to remember that I have a broken controller and I need to... Whoa, a little bit laggy there. A little bit of a lag stab there, that's alright. I need to buy a new controller. Ow. <laughs> lag did not work in my favor that time. Just give you a little bit of... A little bit of a stab. A little stabby stab. There we go. Get out of the way. All right, what's this run about? We are going to see what the daggers do. Um, basically, we finished the crossbow run. People really liked how we showcased that, and I kind of gave everyone an option of what we showcased next, and people said daggers. So we're gonna see a lot of critical hits, we're gonna see a lot of backstabs, we're gonna see a lot of parrying, and a lot of bleed damage. Should be fun, ow. Easy peasy. Hold on a minute. Somebody gifted some subs. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah. Wannabe gifted five subs for the backlogs, members, and community. Thank you so much. Very generous of you. Wow. Well, to all the new people that suddenly got subs, uh, congratulations. Enjoy your free sub. Or I guess it's not a sub on YouTube, it's a, your free membership. Uh, you've got access to emotes now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, use them up. And Nicholas for the new controller. Have a great day. Aww. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> glad to see me streaming? Well, thanks. I'm glad to be here. I was a little upset that we couldn't actually do a video this weekend. You know, we got some cool ones coming down the pipeline. But, uh, yeah. Real life stuff says, uh, I have to do things this weekend. And I will be away from keyboard for several days. Which means that we don't have uh, don't have the time to do a normal run. Daggers only, but not only backstabs. Or daggers only, but not backstabs only. Hmm. 
<laughs> you sound confused. Alexander, thank you so much. Always glad when I can catch you in the live stream. Here's 10 bucks for a new controller fund. <laughs> I don't know why you put it in quotes. <laughs> All right, let's see here. But thank you so much. Really appreciate you. All right, here's the other dagger we have access to at this time. <laughs> Brayden, doing some lemon dancing over there. Much appreciated. All right, so here's what we're going to look at. Here's what we're going to look at. Uh, first off, my volume on my end is too loud. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Uh, okay, so dagger stuff, dagger stuff. So we've got two right now. You'll notice here the bandit's knife has bleed down at the bottom left. So that's pretty good. Um, obviously, we've been using that. Works really great. Critical hit of 147. Now, the regular dagger, critical hit of 131, but is a little easier, and obviously we can buy unlimited of them, which is great. Um, so, we're going to keep that in our offhand for now, because, where is it? There we are. Uh, because you can parry with a dagger, like that. And then we also can, ooh, hold on. Okay, that's, that's misleading. It is just a one attack, it's just a left hand. It looks like a double hand though, doesn't it? It's pretty cool. Anyway. So yeah, the regular dagger is good for if we wanted to just start doing some elemental shenanigans. But, uh, otherwise, otherwise it's just kind of good for crits and that's about it. <laughs> Send in the feels? Well, thank you, Catman. I'll take all the feels you can get. Go kill the Black Knight to get his sword. We can't use the sword. We can't use the sword, though. Oh, and that reminds me. One second here while I've got a minute. Let me see if I can... No, I can't do it from here. Uh, Ixy, I see you in there. Welcome. <laughs> Glad you made it. Uh, I will give you mod stuff later, after the fact. Bandit Knife is honestly really great. I know. Yeah, it's it's uh, surprisingly good. There we go. Yeah, because we do like little stab, little stab, little stab, little stab. What's the final build you go for? No idea. No idea. Honestly, I'm just going to be grabbing daggers left and right, and we're just going to um, just go from there. What is a sword but a long dagger? Uh, well, apparently, I think a lot of <laughs> I think a lot of historians would argue with you on that one. How's the stream going? Well, it was a mess at first, but we're we're on there. We're good. Everything's fine now. Oh man, Simon, welcome. Much appreciated for joining. Enjoy those emotes and the wallpapers on the community tab. Crits for days. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I am. If anything, I am a one-hit kill kind of guy. I am all about. I am all about those uh, that glass cannon-esque build. Boop. <laughs> Especially in this game where you can just <laughs> you just line them up. Don't even have to. Yeah, that guy's trying to play our game against us. Don't even have to lock on. Just line them up, knock them down. All right. Really enjoy the streams, thanks. Oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate you being here. You're just gonna stand in my way? <laughs> fishing. We're fishing. Eh, all right, hold on. Take a minute. No, no. All right, one. Oh, wait, you got a friend. Can't fight you if you got a friend. Mr. Down Low! Boop! Thank you so much for joining! Enjoy your emotes! Dink! That's the part where you attack. There you go. No. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Why is my character not naked? <laughs> because we don't have to be this time. This time we've got weapons that are nice and light. The only time I'm ever naked is if, uh... If it would, if my weapons and such would, would keep me from fast rolling. Gray Fox, thank you so much for your donation there. Much appreciated. Ah, I should be at full health if I'm going to do this. Come on, come on. <laughs> so it's finally come to this—a simpler challenge. <laughs> you know, like I said, I I made other challenges available for people to choose from. I we could have done the Dragon Head in uh, Dark Souls 2. 
We could have done a crossbow and demon souls. We had options. Chat wanted this. So this is what chat gets. Which dagger's gonna be best? I have no idea. Whew. Man. Man, oh man, I love the daggers. So good. <laughs> nope, no sword. Yeah, dagger movesets are my jam. Add bleed and crit, and I am a happy camper. We go for Havel? Let's go for Havel. I'm feeling spicy. Let's do it. I'm feeling spicy. Alright. Enchanted dagger? Eh, you know, I'm not sure if we're gonna actually apply any, uh... I don't know if we'll even need it, to be honest. Also, enchanted dagger would require me to do some, uh... Require me to do some extra, like, intelligence and other things that I don't really want to bother with, so... Get out of here, you. Dagger seemed too easy. I know! I know! But... If that's what chat wants, it's just what chat gets. <laughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it. Very true. There we go. Lazy! Am I going to use the tracers this run? So, fun fact, uh, not daggers. Well, the silver one is a dagger, but the gold one is not. The gold one is a short sword. Or a long sword? One of the two. Um, so we can't use it. Despite uh, it having an amazing moveset and being really cool, we cannot use it. There we go. <laughs> Did he parry that club with that dagger? That's right. It's all about momentum. You're just gonna... <laughs> we scooting? Alright, me and Havel are just gonna dance for a minute. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't cheat me on this last one, now. There we go. Easy. Adios. Take that off your hands. There we go. Brayden! The parry on the Black Knight looks painful. You're stabbing him in his eye of death. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be doing that a lot. Weirdly, there's a lot of enemies that are like a little bit taller than me. And uh, because of that, it's just gonna be <laughs> a lot of knives to the groin. A lot of knives to the groin. But such as it is. It's not the size of the <laughs> that counts with the motion of the ocean. Uh, applies to martial arts as well, yes. Where are you running? There we go. Yeah, some large shards. I can work with that. Not bad, not bad. You deserve some easy challenges for everything I've done. I mean, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Big fan of my work? Aw. Appreciate you. Yeah, we've been, we have been doing a lot of really hard ones lately. So, uh, don't get me wrong. Fully appreciative of uh, having something easy to chew on for a minute. Um, and the next ones we've got coming down the line, two of them have been turning out to be relatively easy, although one of them might have a couple brick walls that I'm not quite sure to get around just yet. <laughs> Fear the lemon. Thanks, Opsol. Much appreciated. Travis, found the channel a few weeks back and have been hard binged everything. First time catching you live. Cheers for the content. Well, thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, big guy. So it's getting real low. Dark Souls 2 pacifist. Man, come on now, guys. I don't hate myself that much. <laughs> I still gotta have fun. Okay. Taurus Demon disagrees, apparently. How many, how many cuts does it take to get to the center? Ooh. Caught me a little bit there. There's some bleed. Now we're talking. Yeah, we're talking. Sir Woobly. Welcome. Enjoy your emotes. Ow. Yeah, it seems like the key to the daggers, as far as I'm used to playing, 
is uh, to just uh, not lock on. <laughs> just kind of let the blade do the work. One more good swing. There we are. How about that? Easy peasy. Moving on. Tommy. Why do you think that FromSoft doesn't want their ranged weapons to be good? <laughs> That's a solid question. You love the ranged weapons in this medieval type period? Love Simon's Bowblade? Oh, Simon's Bowblade. Yeah, I did a... Back before I was uh, streaming or recording or doing anything like that, I did do a Bowblade run before. Oh, that's such a good weapon. It's a shame you can't get it so, like very quickly, though. Like, you have to kill a couple bosses. Otherwise, I'd consider it. Hey, Slayer. I'm gonna talk to you just to be chill. We're just gonna be chill. Everyone's cool. Everyone's good. Just in case I need you later. Okay, bye. Alright. But yeah, it would, uh, it would be... I do wish that the bows and things were better. I wonder if chat would actually want me to do, like, a bow run. Like, a bow-only run. I know people are... <laughs> I already put it in their heads to do a great bow-only run. So I imagine if I can do that, I can do a regular run, too. But, uh... I don't know. I know the the bows are cooler in Dark Souls 3. Like, you can start doing, like, piercing shots, or you can do uh, rapid shot, like rapid fire. That's all pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, that should do it. I dumped, like, ten points into dexterity, and my damage goes up by, like, two. <laughs> Bow bash only? Uh, we'll need to for a few times, yeah. Great bow? Yeah, have you guys seen the great bow? It's terrible. Regular bow is probably not that bad, especially if you go get, like, Ferris real quick. Um, or the composite bow. Those are really good. Um, but the, uh, the great bows... I've used it, like, three times, and it is, it is, it is bad. <laughs> it's real bad. Dark Souls 2 bow run is easy. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, one of my main, uh... One of my main builds in Dark Souls 2 was a bow run, so yeah, that would be okay. <laughs> Skull Lantern only run. You keep suggesting it, and I've done the research, because when you first suggested it, I was like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty cool, I forgot about that thing. Uh, <laughs> that thing is a bad choice. You can't upgrade it. It does mostly fire damage. What is happening? Alright, cool, that's fine. That's normal. At least we sat down. Um... But, uh, yeah, I've looked into it. You can't upgrade it. It does mostly fire damage, uh, and it scales with strength, and that's only the physical side of things. So <laughs> you could put max out your strength and get, like, maybe 10 extra points of damage. So, so you're, like, doing, like, a maximum of, like, 60 damage at all times. Is bad. It's real bad. So I, I don't think I hate myself enough to, to do that one, unfortunately. So... Keep an eye out for when I decide to actually let Peyton, like, <laughs> let the community, like, purchase runs. When I finally figure out how to make that a thing. At that point, you guys can start putting all the, all the donations you want towards certain runs. And then, uh, we'll, we can, you know, you guys can pay me to suffer. <laughs> Ooh, come on, lag. Pull it together. Maybe if I lag stab him, that'll... Yep, that kicked the frames back into gear. We're good. Gray Fox, where did the characters like Tony and Carl come from? Offhand jokes. <laughs> they came from uh, a single joke that I made. Uh, well, Carl is actually was a manifestation of me not having anyone else to work with during quarantine. So, um, like back in 2020. So I just had to upturn my voice and be like, yeah, that's another person, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, ow, ow. Jeez, that hurt. Uh, so that's that was just necessity, but Tony was an offhand joke that I made back in an early video and uh, People really liked him. So he just kept reappearing Just always thought that Elden Ring would be would have opened that door up. They have this anything you want type attitude except for ranged weapons uh, You know, I can't say from personal experience because I haven't really dabbled in Elden Ring, but I've heard a lot of really good things about the crossbow um, People kept telling me in the comments that uh, the crossbow in Elden Ring is super easy like, makes every other boss a joke. So, maybe you're just trying the wrong weapon? Give it a try. Also, thanks for that donation. 
Have I done Fist Weapon only yet? Uh, yeah, we have a Dark Souls 1 run of uh, Fist only. Um, it goes all the way up to Gwyn. And then I did the DLC after the fact. Um, but I didn't feel like it was worthy of an entire video. So I snuck the footage in to the uh, 5,000 subscriber uh, celebration video. So it's in there. So for anyone that's like, you didn't do the DLC, it's like, no, I did. It's in there. <laughs> There's bits and pieces. Why orange hair? First off, it's red. Goodness. And uh, let me let me turn human. And uh, that'll probably make it look a little bit better. Because I know when you're when you're a piece of beef jerky, it, uh, <laughs> your character might always look silly. Yeah, we got some Minecraft music playing, apparently. <laughs> I, did, I didn't really... The, the playlist is on, on shuffle, okay? <laughs> I'm not picking anything. That said, I am interested in trying that Minecraft dog-only run that I kind of said I would try at one point. It'd be pretty fun. I don't think anyone's done that yet. At least I certainly can't see it. I don't want to kindle, I want to be human. Make me a real boy. There we go. Just came from my crossbow streams. Oh, hey. Well, welcome. There we go, see? Look how good that looks. The shine. The luster. The, the, the very vacant eyes. <laughs> Alright. Got that out of there. Uh, I have some money. Let's, um, let's pop some souls and upgrade this dagger, yeah? Why not? Greetings from West Virginia, I assume. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Do a Tony run? We've done Tony runs. Check the uh, the Bone Wheel only runs. Those are about as close as you're going to get to that. And unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no be an enemy in Dark Souls 1 mod just yet. There is for Dark Souls 2 and 3. But, uh, but I haven't seen it for Dark Souls 1. How many can I afford? Two? Alright, that'll do. Give that the oomph. Alright, plus two. That's fine. That's a fine start. We can work with that. Okay. Do do do. What's my favorite kind of breakfast sausage? Is there more than one? Uh, I like sausage. <laughs> sausage flavor. I don't know. Are Dark Souls 2 servers online? Not to my knowledge. I think Dark Souls 3 servers are back online, but I haven't seen anything about 2 or 1. Pacifist only run? Absolutely not. <laughs> the uh, the AI is too bad to make that a viable run. I mean, I'm sure someone's done it, but like, we're, we would be sitting on one boss for like 30 minutes each. So, you know, we don't we don't want to do that. We we don't want to do that. Raiden, you'd like to see some kind of body snatch run. Every time you come across an NPC, you must kill them and use all their stuff until the next NPC. Oh. That'd be pretty cool. You, the NPCs have some really good equipment, actually. Ow. Um, I don't think any of it's upgraded, per se, of course, but they they do have a lot of, like, the rings and things, which is really cool. We can make something like that work. Oh, no, you don't. All right. <laughs> Do you bleed? <laughs> you may be Superman. That movie was so bad. There we go. There we go. One more hit out of it. Nice. A skinwalker run? Yeah, basically. Free Titanite and a tower shield I can't use. Fantastic. You second, Braden? Okay. I'll, you know what? I'll add it to the list. I'll add it to the list. I'll keep it in mind. Alright. Is Blee as effective in this game as it is in the others? Uh, well, that depends, because in Dark Souls 1, yes, very effective. In Dark Souls 2, it is garbage. In Dark Souls 3, it's back to being good again, and I think I've heard that it's good in Elder Ring. So. And it's really bad in Demon Souls. So, you know, you kind of... <laughs> it bounces back and forth. Coffee talk music? Heck yeah. There we go. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's go kill the asylum demon. Who's feeling uh, who's feeling lucky today, huh? Who's feeling lucky? Let's go ahead and do that. Oh gosh, man. Should try that demon weapon only run. Hold on. One second. One second. <laughs> Chance to talk too fast. Slow down, you guys. Slow down. We don't want to do that. That's why we suggest you do that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, what kind of run is this? This is uh, daggers only. Let's see. Just try playing the demon. It's a rough start. I'll tell you from personal experience. Especially since you picked the demon class start. Oof, God, well, yeah. Why would you do that? What was the earliest video game you can remember playing? Um. Oh man. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a fun one. <laughs> that's a fun moment to jump back in on. Um. The uh, first game I can remember playing is Tetris on the original Game Boy. Uh, and I'm talking like the green screen one. Like no backlight, no color. <laughs> That's the earliest one I can remember playing. I've played Pong. And I've played arcade games. I don't remember if that was before or after. But that's the earliest console game I can remember playing. Let me put it that way. Alright, well, if you guys are going to be just dicks about it, I'm just going to go over here. I'm taking my toys over here. All right. How delayed is this stream? Uh, shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. I don't think, anyway. How about a double game speed run? Oof. Uh, <laughs> that would just become me holding up a shield and <laughs> waiting for... That would become a Zelda run, a Zelda 64 run, where you just kind of hold up the shield and wait for your turn. Ow. Kick. Stab with the other. Stab with the offhand. Now let's try this again. This time without getting stabbed to death. The earliest game you remember was Contra. Ooh, man. Yeah, that's... That's some pretty rough. Do you play any fighting games? Not particularly. Um, I guess if you count Super Smash Bros. and the like, uh, I play that a lot. Uh, because my... <laughs> my family grew up on it, so we, uh... We played that pretty hardcore. Um, oof, what? Okay. That seems a little unfair. Oh yeah, that bleed damage is going to carry us through. We're fine. <laughs> I was a little nervous there for a second. Uh, but yeah, well, so I guess uh, the closest thing to that would be, like I said, Super Smash Bros. I did play, you know, a little bit of uh, Mortal Kombat and things like that. But, uh, not really for me. Not my type of game. I like a little bit more ex exploration and character building. Paul, first time catching on the stream, just want to say that you're awesome. Well, that was very kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate the donation. Oh, man, we're doing just fine. This is a plus two dagger, ladies and gentlemen. Bleed is king. At least for the enemies that are weak to it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's happened so far? We've killed the Taurus demon, and we're about to kill the Asylum demon. Or I guess, no, we did kill the Asylum Demon. We're going to kill the Stray Demon now. And then we're probably going to make our way over to the Gargoyles, if I had to... If I had my say. There we go. Easy! Easy peasy. Take that slab for later. Alright. Did I hear the Challenger Andrew finally beat the Deacons in his all gay run? I had not heard that. Wow. That's, uh... <laughs> that's impressive. How did he do it? Did they do they do self damage? I feel like they do. There's no way he could have done it otherwise. Oops. <laughs> Got to actually repost after pairing. Does bleed do a percentage damage? It does. Yeah. Allegedly, anyway. Allegedly, it does 10%. But I don't. I'm not sure if that's actually true. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, dagger only. You got it. You've got it. You've got it. Which bosses are immune to bleeding apart from the Iron Golem? Um, there's a couple. There's a couple. I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> this isn't Sultan Sanctuary. I don't know everything by heart. What's the next dagger we're going for? Um, that's a good question. 
so we have these two. I actually have to take a look at the list and see what's, uh... Man, that one cannot for the life of me get that first parry for some reason. I guess the parry dagger? Parrying dagger would be good to have. I'd like that. Make this part a lot easier. Can't see what I'm doing here. Quail eggs immune? Hooray! Oh, who's this? <laughs> Who snuck in here? Ah. Ah, you threw off my vibes. Oh, that was a lot of souls I just lost. I wanted those. Oh, well. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Shun! Whenever you boot up a Souls game, you just become the Black Knight cosplay without fail. <laughs> anyway, keep up the great content. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, we should have gone back and get the gotten those souls. That was a that was a bad idea. Ah well. It's fine, we didn't need it. We didn't need it. I mean we did, but we didn't. Perry Dag is fairly easy to get. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about it. It's probably the next one to get. God, can I please parry properly? It's how we learn. That's right. Failure is how we learn. You cannot learn if you do not fail. Fox! Bleed is king, alright? Especially if you play Elden Ring. But, you dislike Elden Ring. Heathen. <laughs> Correct! And this is why we suffer. We suffer because we must. But hey, I remembered the doll. Alright. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off Lemon's groove. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> mm, thanks for the donation. Much appreciated. Uh, is this a normal run or a challenge? Uh, well, we're doing d just daggers, so technically it's a challenge run. But uh, so far, we're not really all that challenged. We've been pushing through pretty quick. That's where you came from. Well, let's get you out of here so that doesn't happen again. There we go. Alright. Bleed is off on Dark Souls 2? Yeah, because it doesn't do what it's supposed to. It, um... I think it removes their stamina regen or something like that, so, like, they can't hit you as much. But, like, okay, I wanted damage, you know. Later, Golden Gun. Have a good one. Stab him in the back. Stab him in the booty. Yay, zero soul recovered. All right, well. Just keep jamming that up there until he dies. That'll be fine. Daggers are good, to be honest. You like them? Oh, I know. They're great. There is nothing wrong with the dagger. I am more than happy to, uh, <laughs> to do this run. This is honestly just a little nice. Is this more Conqueror Banjo? No, this is, um, the Wii. <laughs> I think this is just, like, the Wii menu, if I remember correctly. Dark Souls 1 has, like, five daggers, so one of them must be good. Yeah, exactly. The one we have. <laughs> no, yeah, we got this one. I th I've heard good things about Priscilla's dagger, though I've never used it, so that'll be interesting to try. Um, people have suggested I try the Ghost Blades R2. I'm not sure why. But that might be interesting. Oh, okay, that floor just falls all the time, huh? Oh. <laughs> Greg fell down here with us, okay. Guess I'll just climb back out. Alright, there we go. Your final build in Elder Ring was daggers? Okay, there you go. See, you get it. How can I not like Elder Ring? Because I don't. Simple as that. It's not for me. Good morning, Sneezing Dragon. <laughs> Which resin is best? Uh, I think lightning tends to do well. Um, fire is good, but some things are fire resistant, so... I mean, I think it just kind of depends on what you're fighting. Get one of both. Get some lightning, get some fire, you'll be good against anything. You'll be fine from there. Hellwalker! Surely you go for... <laughs> Surely you'll go for Priscilla's fluffy tail dagger. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Is Siren's dagger good? Um, her the gold tracer is really good. I've done that one, um, but that's a short sword, unfortunately. Uh, the other dagger has toxic. 
on it, which is cool, but most bosses in this game are poison and toxic immune. I guess we could have used that earlier, but whatever. Uh, most of them are immune, unfortunately, and so we're not going to really get the most benefit out of that, although it might have a lot of damage, so we'll, we'll see from there. It might just be a heavy damage dealer. Let's see here. Make sure our boy isn't down here. We made that mistake last time. No, he's not. Okay, good. Just making sure. Well, I could put these points into 27 dexterity, get that whole whopping 2 damage. Or we could wait. I think we'll wait. Someone who isn't Henry. <laughs> what are your top 8 animals in alphabetical order? <laughs> That's a very specific question. <laughs> Also love the content, and also just like Elden Ring. Okay. Uh, well, thanks. first off, thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Uh, but, uh... Oh, God. Well, I won't be able to do my top eight animals, sorry. But I can give you a couple. Uh, dogs are cool. Chickens are great. Rats are pretty neat. Um, what else? Rainbow Shrimp is up there. That thing is terrifying. Uh, get okay. Let's let's make this a little bit more of a fair playing field, if you would, please. <laughs> All right, you come to me. If you're not gonna let me come up there, I'm gonna come to you. Come on. Now you wanna play parry? No, 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 no. We're not playing this game. All right, I'm gonna fish you. I'm gonna fish you. You earned it. There we go. Woo! One, <laughs> hey, Lemon, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. You're incredibly funny. Someone help that person. Someone help that person. They are not feeling well. <laughs> I appreciate you saying so. Thank you. I don't see it, but that's just me. All right. All right, I'm okay. I'm kind of funny. I'm funny in a dad way. I'm funny in a dad way, so if you appreciate dad jokes and that kind of humor, then I am your guy. May I humbly suggest two animals, the armadillo lizard and the potu bird. I've never heard of the second one. If you mean the armadillo lizard, is that the, uh, what the it's got a weird name, it's like Patapon or something like that. But if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, then yeah, that thing's cool too. It looks like a dragon. It's so cool. That is uh, the closest we're going to get to a D&D &D dragon in real life. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing here. No, no. Come here. Come on, Garg. 35 damage really isn't that bad. Am I just... <laughs> I, You know, half the time I kind of wonder if I'm just desensitized to bad damage at this point. Because I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's pretty good damage. Look at that. I, I can see the tech move. <laughs> Any other person would be like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Why is my damage so bad? Oof, okay. Alright, alright. Got a little greedy there. Pengalin, yes, thank you. That's the one. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that thing's cool. Ow! Don't make me two-hand this. I'll do it. Oh, you made me do it. Now you got it. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Ow! I have fucked up now. This is gonna get real bad. Uh, we're gonna be okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We got that fast roll. We're good. Take your lumps. Mm mm. No, 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 no. Alright. Somebody there. I would be a little bit more noticeable of that, but that's alright. Ow. No poking. Hey. Take it easy over there. Take it easy, boys. Right, I want you out of here. I want you gone. Yeah. 
slice and dice. Woo! Oh, thought I dodged it. <laughs> that coming. Okay. Almost got him, though. Almost got him. Alright, well, that was kind of rude. And now you're gonna close in for the kill. I see it. Nice try, boys. And this should be enough to finish him off. Oh, there we go. And my precariously f poised friend. That's enough for you as well. Alright. Easy peasy. Not bad. Not bad at all. How about that? <laughs> no slow poking. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's go. You're more into Warhammer than D&D? You know, the, uh, the price tag kind of keeps me from getting into Warhammer, unfortunately. I would be interested in it, it seems pretty cool, but measuring troop distances and buying one troop for $10 and then needing to buy 75 more, just not for me, you know? It's kind of like Magic the Gathering. Uh, the price tag's just too big for me to actually want to get into it. But, to each their own. While Pengolin is a really great animal, let's talk about the Armadillo Girdle the Lizard. But frightened it'll bite its tail, corrupt to a ball, and roll away. Oh, that thing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thing's pretty cool. I gotcha. That one's pretty cool. Dan! Love the channel. Your channel just makes me go back to actually finish these games. I am so sorry. <laughs> I deeply apologize. Were you buying a unit for $10? Yeah, right. No kidding. Goes to show that I do not buy the units. Um... Yeah, I think the last time I looked at them, they were like $30 each at my local game store. And we live on the cheap part of town. I can only imagine what they're charging in the big city. It's a player, war player dreamer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, you all need to get out of the doorway so I can actually go home. I want to go home. And to those wondering, we are listening to some button masher right now. This is uh, Dire Dire Docks by him, and it is one of my favorites. Very cool. Hey, you! You're still alive! Well, I can fix that. Where are you running? Where are you running? Oh, that's, he's gonna lure all his little buddies. No, 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 don't you dare buff them up. Okay. Alright, cool. All done. Woo! Can you beat Elden Ring without calling Rune's souls? Nope! I, would, I can't complete the first half of that sentence, so... <laughs> a thousand viewers? Do we really? Just a thousand viewers just for a dagger-only run? Do I like goblins? Uh, if we're talking D&D &D goblins, yes. 5e goblins are the best. 3.5 goblins are really cool, too. Um, just the fact that <laughs> they don't get a name until they're three because of the likelihood of them dying isn't worth naming them. <laughs> and they're just... They're constantly eating everything. They're constantly on fire. They are my little favorite dudes. They are uh, Firebomb Ch Chaos Incarnate. So yes. How's my morning going? It's going pretty well. Thank you for asking. Alright, what do we got here? We can get a couple of this. I already used two, so we should only need seven more, but let's... Let's play it slow. Yep, need two more. There we are. And that is a maxed out bandit knife for the time being. Cool. Alright. Spend the last of these souls. And then we'll uh, head on down to Capra, I think. I think that'll be the next place to go. 30 dexterity as well. Not bad. Not bad. Kobolds are greater than goblins. <laughs> no. Well. It depends. If you're talking from a combat standpoint, then yes, kobolds are definitely greater than goblins. Pack tactics always wins. But, um, as far as lore and such goes, I prefer my goblins. Basically, this is the bandit run. Uh, for the time being, we're gonna try and do our best to showcase all of the other daggers and such. I'd like to see what they all do. 
Alright, I have not let out... What's his face? Lawtrek. Yeah, daggers only. You got it. Is upgrading armor even worth it? It is. Um, however, when you are more inclined to dodge attacks than to block them or take them, <laughs> take a hit, uh, I like for me, for example, I tend to either dodge everything or die. That's just kind of the build I run um, for pretty much everything. So for me, it's more worth it to put Titanite into weapons because I am not going to be grinding. Um, however, if you are going to grind up a little bit to kind of build some stats and upgrade all your stuff, then absolutely feel free to get your stuff up to like plus five or whatever. Like at the very least, go ahead and, you know, increase your armor to whatever regular Titanite is, because that's free for the most part. Can you attach firebombs to daggers? I cannot. All right, I'm gonna try and fight him regularly. If he jumps off, that's kind of not my fault. All right, well, <laughs> I wanted to parry him, but uh, he chose something else, so that's just the way that goes. <laughs> Dodge or die, so that's why you don't like Elden Ring. See, that's the thing, is I really like the poor man's parry in Elden Ring, like where you just block and then press the right trigger to parry. That's a great idea. It's a great mechanic. So, no, no, like I've tried Elden Ring with blocking. Don't you worry, but it's just not for me. That's all. It just doesn't feel right. I just get bored. Too big, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, uh, good news, though, for everyone that keeps screaming for me to play Elden Ring, which is a lot of people. Um, I am about... Maybe... I have started... Let's put it this way. I have started the Demon Souls Firebomb Only run. Um, it's going pretty well. So we should, hopefully... I was going to hopefully get it out this weekend, but like I said, IRL stuff's getting in the way. Um, ooh, wow. What did it kill now? Nice. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that one will be coming out sooner rather than later, in probably the next two weeks or so. Uh, and once that one's done, I am out of excuses and I need to start doing Elden Ring. So, you'll get your wish. <laughs> you, you won't like it, but you'll get it. I just hope you guys are ready for a two, uh, two and a half hour long video, as well as an opinion piece, because that's probably what's going to turn it to, if I had to guess. Probably what it's going to turn it to. I think, I think I saw somebody yelling about making some videos for Salt and Sanctuary. That is also uh, in progress. I am very well into a firebomb only run. It is going smoothly. I figured that would be a, you know, a, a, a good place to start. Let's just start with some firebombs. Uh, we will be doing some other ones though eventually. I'd like to use the firebomb run to gauge people's interest. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be more interest later down the line when it comes to Steam. Um, but for the time being, I would do want to get something on the board. Uh, we need to unlock that. Oh, you know what? We can go this way. It's a little, a little faster. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to start some Salt and Sanctuary, or not Salt and Sanctuary, I'm sorry, Salt and Sacrifice firebombs. Um, that's starting up soon. Again, sometime in the next two weeks or so, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's one of the two. And then uh, from there, we will see where we go. Charred one. Throwing knives only, or is it just worse firebomb run? Also, some people say they want to rape your run. I saw one guy say, but probably others. Whoa, I went, I went the wrong side. Uh, or wait, no. Dragon's on the wrong side. I don't need to be here. What am I doing? I'm doing this wrong. Lemon. Come on, Lemon. Get it together. There we go. Uh, Rapier Run would be interesting. I don't think I've really used that very much. I think I, I tried using the regular Rapier. It's awesome and... Oh, it's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh, boy. I've used it in Dark Souls 2, because obviously two, <laughs> dual wielding the rapiers in Dark Souls 2 is amazing. Um, but in Dark Souls 1, I didn't really use it. It's got good crit, though, so maybe that's worth it. That might be worth it. Uh, and then as for uh, throwing knives, throwing knives is just like a worse firebomb run, yeah. It, uh, it does less damage, it doesn't do any extra, anything extra, really. Um, and... 
while I think I could probably start using some fog wall tactics to kind of make it work, I don't know. Like, there'd be some bosses you couldn't do, like, uh, what's his face? Oh, a lot of the DLC bosses, you couldn't do them. Okay, two hits, I go with two hits. We're gonna need some... There we go, okay. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. What's my favorite boss weapon? My favorite boss weapon in Dark Souls 1. Uh, that is going to be a tie between the Moonlight Spear or Quelex Fury Sword, I think. And I saw somebody else. I'm sorry, I missed someone else's donation as well. Thank you, Paul, for that. Appreciate you. Um, Charred one, thank you. And then Old Man Spencer. <laughs> hate to think you've been pigeonholed into a single Souls game, but I'd be lying if your Dark Souls 1 challenge series wasn't your favorite of all of them. <laughs> you love it all, though? Well, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Honestly, um, I don't mind playing Dark Souls. It's relaxing for me. Eh. Alright, they gotta come out. Um, so when people say, yeah, do more Dark Souls, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Darn! Oh no, don't make me play it! No! <laughs> yeah. But I do like to do some variety stuff as well, so, you know, I don't, we won't become a all Dark Souls all the time channel, you know. I don't want to do that. But uh, I don't mind re returning to it, checking out all the cool stuff that it has to offer. I am going to die. This is not going to end well. Okay. All right, all right. I'm just gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. Let's see if we can't uh, do a parry or something. Ow, ow. Okay. Don't do it, don't you do it. Don't make me bleed. Lag, not now. I know we changed songs, but you don't need to lag. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see. It's in one of these rooms. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Nope, that's the mail breaker. Oh, yeah. Is that a dagger? Is that a dagger? It is a thrusting sword. Hmm. So that would be along the lines of the uh, rapiers. So, no, we can't use that one. Okay. Interesting. Would have thought that was a parry dagger. Where's the parry dagger? Oh, that's in Ghost Town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Use cheat engine to pebble only. Uh, you would need to have a cracked PS4. So, uh, can't do that one. Also, Charred One, thank you for joining. Much appreciate you. Heard of Hellpoint? I have not. Ow, ow, God. Okay, well, there's the blood loss. I was waiting for that. Hmm. You don't think you've ever gotten blood in Dark Souls 1? Well, uh, not, now you know. <laughs> There's a good example for you why you never do it again. Let's see. Let's see. Did I pick up any... I haven't picked up any armor whatsoever, have I? I was hoping to put on some bleed resistance stuff, but, uh, ah well. Did I open this door? I feel like I didn't. Oh, I did. Good job, me. Okay. Hellpoint is a cool sci-fi themed Souls-like. Okay. I got you. Yeah, you'll, you'll have to forgive me. I haven't been keeping up with new games, if I'm being completely honest. Um, just haven't. Most of them haven't really piqued my interest, so... I just don't keep taps on it as much as I used to. That said, I keep getting offers for other games, so <laughs> every now and again, every now and again, a company will come up and be like, "Hey, play the game." I'm like, uh, "Okay, I'll just throw it in my backlog. Thank you. I'll get to it in three months." Hey, 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 hey! Don't you start that again. We've done this song and dance. What did I just say? What did I just tell you? For that, you die. And you're gonna try and play the parry game. Okay, well, let's see if I can just, uh, there we go. Cool. Hoo ah, God. <laughs> hey, Lemon, have you ever played Divinity Original Sin 2? You know, people keep telling me to do that one because it's got, a, I guess, a boatload of bombs. Uh, haven't played it. Need to play the first one as well. Uh, but I I am interested, yes. P 
people have given me so many games that are like, hey, these have fire bombs in it. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm trying. Firebomb Academy has made notice. We've received your application. It is it should be coming to you in the mail. No no. What are you doing? Two can use that attack. Eh. Eh. Oh wow, that's terrible. Okay. Don't use the strong attack. Got it. Alright, well, Capper Demon with uh, two Estus. This should be fine. I sense good times. Oh, dog, there he is. <laughs> There's the good time I sensed. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Will I ever play Conker's Bad Fur Day on the channel? Uh, I might make a video about it if I can convince my brother to have some time and play it with me. Because I'd really like to just, you know, showcase the multiplayer. Because that was, the, that was the, the big kicker there. Liam! Hi, Lemon and Chet. Starting your first job tomorrow and you're really excited. Good luck, my friend. Don't let the man get you down. How? <laughs> Best of luck to you. Remember, it's a learning experience. If you have a rough day, there's always a better day after it. And just wait for that first paycheck. If this is your first job, you are in for a wild ride, I am sure. I know when I had my first job, I <laughs> and this is back when minimum wage was low um, but uh, when I had my first job and I saw those three digits on that paycheck I was like oh my god I immediately went out and bought an Xbox <laughs> or whatever the or whatever system it was I can't remember all right well, we just gotta play the dodgy game but yeah good luck to you welcome to the workforce now pay my retirement ow <laughs> <laughs> oh god Chard one Find D Let's see D-Way wants to know Your favorite dagger Also congrats on getting a job Liam There you go There you go Favorite dagger Uh My favorite dagger is from Salt and Sanctuary And it is The Eviscerator Uh In Dark Souls 1 I don't know I haven't really used them very much I've used the Bandit's Knife The one I've got right now I've used that plenty um, and I've used, like, the twin bandit daggers, I think is what it was, in Dark Souls 3. Those were really cool. But outside of that, I have not really dabbled in daggers. So, we're in for a ride. Brayden! Hold on. Hold on. Let me deal with the doggies. Bad dog. Sit. Stay. Uh, your relationship with Firebombs reminds me of the website Can You Pet the Dog? <laughs> yes. That is, uh, that is... That is our goal here. Not only, not only is our goal to find which games have firebombs, but also which ones can you beat with just firebombs. That has apparently become my life's work, and I'm okay with that. Better that than like beating games with fists only, you know. Because, oh, okay, this is we're gonna lose those four thousand souls we built up over there. Yep, here it comes. Uh, yeah, I know I'd much rather beat things with the fireballs because I feel like a lot of devs are kind of like really hiding the damage like they a lot of people really sleeping on Molotovs and the like That or devs just assume that players don't use consumables anymore <laughs> And so they're not really balancing it and uh, it's a uh, it's broken. It's very broken Why am I using two daggers? I thought power stancing wasn't in Dark Souls 1. Well for one I can parry with this dagger So there's that uh, and, uh, because it looks cool. And if you need any other reason than that, I don't know what to tell you. Do I have any pets? Several. I have, uh, many pets. Regular playthrough? Nope, daggers only. <laughs> if this was a regular playthrough, I would be casting lightning right now. <laughs> oh, and looking much more like a paladin. I wish these guys weren't so hard to... You know what, I'm just gonna... Do the old see ya later. See ya. There's the other dog. Alright, cool. Get on in there. <laughs> Please read. I use some of your vids for builds for Salt and Sanctuary. Okay. Oh, I hope they're... I hope my videos are uh, treating you well in that case. Or at least at the very least that I've taught you some of the invisible math that goes on behind the screen. 
I will say now, uh, Salt and Sanctuary is getting some, uh, is getting a new patch, or has been getting patches. Um, so a lot of the old glitches no longer work, which is good. I didn't really use them, so, uh, but it's nice to see that, uh, like things like, you know, bosses phasing into walls and things like that isn't going to happen anymore, which is great. Uh, and they are adjusting some of the weapons. Um, I can't say any more than that because I don't think it's common knowledge, but uh, if you are a fan of some of the more offhand weapons of, uh, of Salt and Sanctuary, you're about to see some vast improvements. So, good news all around. Let's see. Am I a DM or a player in Dungeons & Dragons? Uh, I... It depends on which group I'm playing with. Um, one of my friends is a forever DM uh, by choice, so he, uh, whenever I'm playing with him, I'm a player. But uh, in my other friend groups, I am the I am the DM. I just do that whole living vicariously through my, <laughs> you know, with uh, PCs that I make instead or NPCs that I make. Because unlike other players who have to wait for the campaign to end before they can try a new uh, character build, I get to introduce a new one every session. Alright, there he goes. Not even close. There's going to be a lot of bad things that come through that door as soon as it opens. <laughs> yep, there they are. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, get rid of you. Okay, alright. Uh, everything's fine, and it's not. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go get those souls. Ah, oh, boy. What controller am I playing on? A Logitech. <laughs> A Logitech USB controller. Um, yeah, it's it's just my go-to for Dark Souls. It's the one that feels most comfortable in my hands. Normally, I like on any other time, I do have like a PlayStation, a couple PlayStation controllers. I do have an Xbox One controller, but. Uh, when it comes to Dark Souls, for some reason, I played on a Logitech controller for so long that that's the one I like. What D&D classes have I played and not played? I have played the Bard, the Paladin, a Monk, um, Barbarian, Fighter, Cleric. I think I said Paladin already. I haven't played a Ranger or a Druid or a Warlock. I have done Wizard uh, or Sorcerer. I haven't done those ones. So a lot of the magic classes I haven't really dabbled with, outside of the wizard. Uh, mainly because if I play magic, I like to have options, and I know warlock and sorcerer are more inclined towards um, more like power, really, like taking a few uh, like a few spells that you like really good at, and then just making those your bread and butter. Whereas like whenever I play a wizard, I like to play utility wizard. So, All right, get this guy out of here. Artificer? Uh, you know, I haven't played Artificer. You're right, I forgot about that class. I want to, because that has fire bombs. <laughs> Don't play Ranger unless it's with Tasha's options. Well, I mean, uh, there's a couple good things about the Ranger. Like, there's a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, you got me. No, I think there's... I've seen it played well before. It does well if the party build is correct. Like, it can dish out, like... Over 60 damage. This is going to be bad for me. <sighs> Those souls are gone, aren't they? Oh, no, no, they're not. Okay. Um, I've seen it deal, like, upwards of 60 damage in one turn uh, at, like, level 3. But, again, that was with the proper uh, party comp. So, you know, it depends. All right, you get, get out of the way. I just want my stuff. I just want my stuff. No. Stop it. Be good. Get out of here. Cool. Man, I wish... I wish I'm going to have to find a way to integrate the music a little bit better, because every time the music changes... Oh, hey, nice. Every time the music changes, we get some lag. It's a bummer. Jagger, here's the bounty for that Taurus demon. <laughs> Jerk refuses to give his dogs any treats. Aw, poor guy. Jokes aside, any plans for XCOM's two challenge runs? You know, I haven't actually had any free time this last month or so. Oh, these dogs are still here. Um, to play new games, I should say. Uh, if you if you are subscribed to the second channel, I apologize that I haven't been up, able to upload there either. Normally, 
normally I put like any games I'm playing on the back, like the back side of things that aren't challenge runs, I put them there. But uh, I have not had time. Every weekend has been eaten up by something. And I'm not talking just like, ah, my Saturday's gone. I'm talking like, yeah, my Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is all gone. There it goes. And I have to put out a video. <laughs> so, I have not had an opportunity to uh, even play XCOM 2. So I don't even, I haven't even tabled with it yet. I'm thinking what I'd love to do in the future, and some people have asked me to do it as well, is for the second channel... It's starting to get big enough, and it's almost old enough, I think, where I can kind of do some more stuff with it. Because it has to be, like, 30 days old before I can actually do some of the stuff that this channel does. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, but I'd love to start doing some live streaming on that side. It'll be smaller. I don't think anyone would, be, anyone would even be able to donate or anything like that, but that's fine. Eh, let's go get rid of our souls before I lose those two. Uh, but it would be nice to just kind of do some streams of, like, just casual gaming of uh, other games. You know, because, uh, not gonna lie, chat is a good motivator to, uh, pick up a game I normally wouldn't play for more than five minutes, and to just be like, alright, I guess we're gonna play all of it. So, um, yeah, I'd like to do that for a couple games. So maybe soon, maybe soon we'll be able to just play some XCOM 2. And just, uh, try that out. Alright, I think the soft cap is 40, so we'll get to that and then we can dump into whatever else. But until then. Alright. Do do do. How? Let's see. How am I doing today? I am doing it just fine. Thank you for asking. Doing it just fine. Am I anyway related to the back rooms? No. Though that is some excellent Lovecraftian S core, I'll tell you what. Whoever is making those, I fully applaud them, and I hope they keep going. Travis, have a good night. Go get that well-deserved sleep. My favorite primate? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's the second channel? Uh, it should be at the end of every video I put out. I don't know if I'm putting it in the descriptions. I probably should. Um, if I'm not doing that already. But if I'm not... Uh, just basically go to any of the videos in the recent, like, two or three weeks. Um, and at the end, you'll see, uh, not only, like, a little pop-up for videos and my, like, subscribe to the channel, but you'll also see one for the second channel. So, it, uh, you can't miss it. It's got my name on it. <laughs> it's, it's called Shortcut Unlocked. It's got my face and a big two on it. So, I mean, if you're, I can't get any more obvious than that. <laughs> Why is everyone hitting me today? There's one downfall of the daggers is the range. The range is a poo-poo. Does this become a video? I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Haven't decided yet. This is more of a proof of concept. Hello! Good morning! I'm here for breakfast. No? Alright. Where's the other dog? There he is. Okay. Hey, I'm busy. Hey, hey! Wait your turn. Don't you do it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Alright, what's happening? Where am I? What's going on? I need you to go down first. Oh, good. Here's the other one. Uh, that's still standing. Great. Okay, this is a... Uh, nope, this is a hard nope. We're just gonna... I was trying to grab that. <sighs> I wanted the chest eye frames and it did not work. Ah, well. What's the origin of the handle Simmer's Lemon? That is an old Xbox gamer tag. And my original gamer tag before I did YouTubing. Water break. Everybody hydrate. Everybody hydrate. Do your body some good. Alright. Two hand will give you more range. I don't know. We'll try it. It's not hurting anything. We're not pairing anybody down there. Gives us more damage, if anything, so. Could be useful against those Duggos. What's that doing? That is a dagger. Uh, dagger only run. Dagger only run. 
What's the idea with this build? I don't know. <laughs> no ideas. Any thoughts on doing challenge runs on games like Stardew Valley? Well, I've already done a Stardew Valley challenge run where I beat the game without using any energy. Um, that said, I did have to go the Joja route. And from what the comments seem to imply, they're thinking that it would take a lot longer, but I could probably do the community run as well, or the community center. So I think what will happen is sometime in winter, because Stardew Valley is my wife's game for sure, like that's her one of her favorite games, uh, and she likes to play it in winter, <laughs> because that's when our real garden is, uh, you know, out of commission. Um, I'm back for dinner! <laughs> Too soon? Okay. Um, so I think what I'll do is in winter, I would love to actually do a video with her, with Stardew Valley. Um, she probably wouldn't do a challenge run, she'd probably just participate on the side, but I could just do a challenge run and we could just do a comparison between her, <laughs> between her farm and my challenge run farm. Might be kind of fun. That or we might just do like a live stream together, who knows. But uh, that's the only other... Stardew Valley challenge run I can think of off the top of my head right now, unless you've got some other suggestions. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're just gonna dead angle me there. Look at you go. Take your lumps. Okay. Take our large ember. Very nice. And yeah, let's just push on forward. I'm thinking we're going to avoid using any kind of spells, so no power within, anything like that, if we can help it. Keep it strictly daggers, since it's already kind of an easy run. In that right, Alphonse? Ali oop. Oh, well, okay. You get to live today. Bye! <laughs> can't see, can't see. Okay. Speed run it? I mean, we're, we're working on it. Oh, you mean, you mean, uh, Stardew Valley? I have beaten it just that one time. <laughs> I haven't actually beaten Stardew Valley any other time. Uh, my wife has beaten the community center naturally um, before. She did a, she did a great job with her farm. Holy hell! But uh, but yeah, I've never actually done so. I, if you ask me to speedrun Stardew Valley, I would just look at you funny. This is Dark Souls One. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Only fishing. <laughs> Only fishing. Uh, yeah, you could, because you would just fish, and you would make the money, and then uh, you could uh, just pay for Joja. Easy challenge. Let's see. <laughs> I'm the giant rat. Yeah. You can marry Stardew? Aw. That's right, yeah. Yeah, we did that too. <laughs> Before she left me for the other girl in the game whose like, name eludes me because I don't really remember that game very much. I don't want the blue hair. <laughs> the one that's in the rocks. Or is that not right? I don't know anymore. It doesn't matter. It's okay, I'm over it. It doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Alright. How am I finding Elder Ring? I have not played it since release. Uh, well, I guess that's not entirely true. I uh, I did pick it up once or twice after release to kind of just see if maybe it, it had marinated long enough, but uh, it has not. So that is back. To oh, I forgot about the dang guy again. Oh well, we'll be okay. Bleed will save us, maybe. I feel like unless I keep getting shot, in which case, never mind. Oh, was that the bleed? <laughs> it was like a single bar. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Emily. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. I remember that name. <laughs> nah. To be fair, she was playing single player before I jumped into her game, so. She was already married. She was taken, as it were. I went and got the wedding ring just in case she ever changed her mind. I never told her. I was waiting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, nah. It is fun watching her play that game. 
and it's fun to kind of play with her because we do like we do in real life where anything she hates to do I like to do and anything I hate to do she likes to do so we're just like a really good team so she'll talk to the villagers and like do a lot of farming and like just and then the wine barrels and all that good stuff and I go to the mines and uh, and make everything automated <laughs> so uh, but yeah it works out great That'd be fun to stream with her. I'd like that. I'd like to get her opinion on it, too. Just let her talk about it. Have I ever played Enter the Gungeon? No, I have it. I haven't played it. Do you let summons help in these weapon-restricted runs? Only if I need to. Um, you know, if if for some reason, like when I did fire bombs, where there's a boss that's uh, fireproof, uh, when that comes on down the line, then in that case, I say, okay, get a summon in here. You know, because I try to avoid glitches if at all possible. Alright, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Please stop stepping on me. Automation in games is fun? I know. I'm afraid to pick up Factorio, if I'm being completely honest. For that exact reason. Because I know if I do, it's just gonna become... <laughs> no one will see me. I'll be gone for weeks. <laughs> min maxing in numbers is good. That's how I do these challenge runs, man. That's how these challenge runs are possible, by knowing math. A little bit of skill, but mostly math. What song is this? Um, this is actually my buddy Spencer's song. Um, he goes by Spencer Smith on the on YouTube. And I think uh, Scald DM, S-K-A-L-D DM, pretty much everywhere else. Uh, but yeah, this is his music here. Good stuff. I've featured him on a couple of videos, so um, if you look for like my Dark Souls, uh, my Dark Souls uh, music video that I did, um, he helped me with that one. All of his stuff should be there. So, all right, that wasn't so bad. Am I hallucinating? Or Lemon did a Fallout 4 Molotovs only run? I have not done that yet. No, you are hallucinating. Go get some sleep. Spencer's music dope. I know. I know. He does such a good job. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna waste 27,000 souls dying in Blighttown. Let's go elsewhere. Yeah, he does a great job with it. And, and I, he, Thankfully, he does a lot of music stuff for, like, you know, for work, which is awesome. Um, I think he'd prefer to do more, honestly. Like, he still has, like, another job on top of it. But I think, but he's definitely passionate about music and Man, I hope one day that that carries him through to, like, you know, <laughs> that he can live off of it. That'd be awesome. One short. Boo. Oh, wait, I've got a couple souls here. These might carry it. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. All right, misspoke. Uh, this'll do it. <laughs> Down with the dragon? I know, right? Didn't even notice it. <laughs> All right, dexterity's maxed. Now... We can put into anything else we want. You know, we got a free humanity. Let's be pretty. <laughs> Kill the dragon with a toothpick. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. What'd you miss? Um, yeah, we're kind of speed running, honestly. What time is it? Only been playing for an hour and a half. A little less than that. Yeah, we are. We are definitely booking today. Alright, so what other daggers are there? There's the ghost dagger. I think there's two ghost daggers, honestly. And the parry dagger. So those are all in the same place. We don't really need those right now. But I will go collect those soon. Um, what else is there? Am I missing anything else? Priscilla's dagger, of course. Spelunky has bombs. Yeah, you can't really play Spelunky with just bombs, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that works. Rather me get the tracer than the waifu dagger. I have bad news for you. Tracer doesn't count. Unless you're talking about the silver one. And that's something else. But, uh. Yeah, we will be getting the silver tracer. We will be getting Priscilla's tail, I hate to tell you. Gold doesn't count. Gold is a short sword. Uh, there's two ghosts the parry, tracer, Priscilla. What else? Yeah, I think that might be it. Do I like Resident Evil? Uh. No. Or rather, I'm not, like, the biggest fan, oh my god, I can't wait to play it, if that makes any sense. Ha! Ah. Take your lumps, get out of here. 
Um, I've, I've played the old ones, and I have played 4 and 5 and 6. And those ones were... Uh, 4 was great, 5 was okay, because I was able to play it with a sibling, and then 6 was garbage. So I kind of stopped after that. Uh, and I know 7 and 8 are supposed to be really good. Uh, they look like, you know, they're returning to form, which is awesome. The problem is, is I really don't like horror games. Um, I am a jumpy motherfucker when it comes to games. Love me a horror movie and a horror book, but you put a game in front of me and I get too immersed and it's bad for me. So, uh, however, that said, in October, we do need to come up with some games to play. Um, Dead Space 2, I think the Flamethrower Dead Space 2 run is going to make its uh, appearance next, next month. Or in two months, I guess. Um, I have Alien Isolation. I would like to try that. Just because I really like Alien. So I can only imagine the game is just as good. Uh, but outside of that, those are the only two games I have in mind right now. So we're going to have to come up with some more. So so maybe Resident Evil will make an appearance. Who knows? Please don't die. Okay. Mailbreaker's a dagger? False. Mail dagger is a thrusting sword. A.K.A. a rapier. Don't ask me why. I agree with you, but... But we can't argue with Dark Souls. Dark Souls says no. One more for you. There you go. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, okay, we're good. Woo! Close. Oh, hello, boys. Fine evening we're having. Alright, everyone take care now. See you later. Bye-bye. Isolation is good, like really good. Alright, excellent. I know I'm gonna be terrified, it's gonna be a bad time. And I know I can't <laughs> I know I can't stream it because apparently the alien can hear you talk. Allegedly, if you have a microphone plugged in, it you know, and that would be really bad, so uh so we won't be able to stream it. Thank god. But uh but yeah, I I'm looking forward to playing it. Have I played Outlast? No. No, that's spooky. That's very spooky. Was that song from Into the Breach? It was. Good ear. Okay. We have an invader. We should probably handle her first before we get too far. Get out of here. Ooh, man, that damage. <laughs> wow. Was not expecting the 594. All right. Bye, Milf Eater Mildred. <laughs> uh. The butcher knife is a dagger, right? Everyone cool with that? <laughs> I'll take all this. Thank you. Subnautica. You know, norm is that considered a horror game? It would be for me, because I am terrified of dark water. Uh, so... Yeah, that'd be a fun one. I've been meaning to play it. That could be good. Well, there you go. We've got uh, Resident Evil of some sort. Subnautica. Dark Dead Space. And Alien Isolation. Problem solved. We're good to go. What build is this? This is a uh, dual dagger build, apparently. Do throwing knives count? Nah. Those are knives, not daggers. Right, let's go. It's a horror game by sane people standards? Okay. <laughs> That's good. Let's see how we're doing here. Right, so, chat said that she was bleed resistant. So far proving to be true. Not sure if it's bleed immune or if she's completely resistant. Looks like immune. Okay. Well, that's alright. That's alright. The damage is good. The damage is good and the dodges are better. Okay. I spoke too soon.
I can slash, I can slash. <laughs> well, I will be honest with you, chat. I do appreciate you guys giving me an easy challenge run today. <laughs> this is, uh, this is nice. I like, I like this. Wolfie. Hate horror games. <laughs> Money for the lemon. Aw, thank you. I appreciate you. And yeah, I'm right there with you. I appreciate them for what they are, but uh, I am not the one you want in the driver's seat. That much is sure. Blah. We got about 72 damage on a hard swing and 41 on the light. But that stamina hurts. I don't know. It's all the same. Have I played Papers, Please? Yes, I have. That, uh... <laughs> job simulator, but, uh... <laughs> but also, you're sad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a good game. I like that one. Very interesting. Ow! What happened? Hey. No being a bully. No being a bully. What did I just say? Well, that's the last of that. Gotta play careful now. Gotta play careful now. Oh, about one more combo ought to do it. And there she goes. Easy. Easy peasy. A half-life challenge run? <laughs> what, like wrench only? <laughs> or pipe only, whatever it was? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Is Carl supposed to be Leia in the Dark Souls 3 crossbow? You know, that does kind of look like a uh, Star Wars, doesn't it? Uh, it was supposed to be a Army of Darkness reference. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you're right. I kind of forgot about that poster. Okay, let's see here. I think we're gonna skip Ceaseless for now. We can hold off on killing them until later. Um, so, let's skidoot out of here. And move on. Oh, it's a crowbar. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. Is this daggers only? Correct. Alright, so Dex is done. Um, I don't plan on using spells of any kind, so we're good there. Uh, so we can do endurance, or we can do health. So let's pump a few points into health. Let's just kind of even it out. Let's just keep it even Stevens, yeah? Alright, we should probably grind out, uh, some sluggies. We'll do it shortly. We'll do a little bit. Not, we're not, not going to do a whole lot, though. See what do I need? I need more humanity. That's what I need. I need to pop some humanity, boost that up some. All right. How are the daggers? The daggers are doing good. We are speed running. What's the next boss on the list? Well, uh, we've killed pretty much everything over here. Uh, so probably the butterfly would be a good one. And then that should actually clear out everything over here. So then we should, uh, from there, go to Sense Fortress, I think. Now we could go... What we'll do is we're, we're going to hang on to these humanity as best we can. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go grind out some stuff here real quick. And then I think we'll go after the ghost daggers. Since we have the humanity. Although maybe we should hit up Sense Fortress before we do that in particular. Just because that'll be a pain. Um, that way we can go get the Gold Serpent Ring. Max out our item find. How do I decide which runs are good to turn into videos? Uh, well, it depends. Like, some of them I can just tell right away that I'm not... Um, not going to have much to say. Like, for example, I wanted to do some Diablo 2 runs, uh, but there just wasn't anything to say. You know, like, it was like, 
yep, I put points into Firebomb, and then I get to the next boss. And then I put points into Firebomb, and then I get to the next boss. You know, just... There wasn't much to add to it, and I don't have enough in-depth knowledge to, like, share tidbits about it. Like, at least with Dark Souls, if, uh, if a boss is boring, either A, I can do a montage, which Dark Souls tends to lend itself well to. Um... I don't know. I, I personally like making the montages because it's like, yeah, cool moments. All right, awesome. Um, can't really do that with like things like Diablo 2. Um, and then also, I know all the mechanics and stuff, so if something weird is happening on screen, like with because of the way I did my build, then I can at least explain that. And I can't really do that with Diablo because I just don't know it that well. Uh, Mr. Llama, I am not. All right, so these... Uh these guys are being pretty stubborn about giving me any goodies, so that's that's good. I just need like a few. Man. Okay, well let's not do that. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Crap. Mm. Could be smart to kill ceaseless for the easy souls. We don't really need the souls of the thing. The souls are not the problem. Uh, we need Titanite and such. Is this remastered? No. No, I don't play remastered. This is the Prepare to Die edition. Pebbles! Game suggestions for a burnt out Dark Souls lover? Okay, so you like Dark Souls, but you're burnt out on Dark Souls, if I'm understanding that correctly. Um, try Sultan Sanctuary. It's basically Dark Souls, but 2 Ds, which makes it a little easier. And if you're a veteran of Dark Souls, then you'll have no trouble playing it. <laughs> Kick flip that guy into the air. Uh, that's a good one. Um, if you're looking for more of a power trip, I'd recommend Vigil, The Longest Night. Um, very easy game. Dark Souls-esque, but very easy. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure chat can give you some other good suggestions as well. Let's see here. Let's just not. I was gonna say not die. She let me finish. Thank you. Yeah, go get our humanity. Did I get that parrying dagger? Not yet. We are grinding up some uh, some titanite first, and then we will go get it. There we go. Or at least we're pretending to grind up some titanite. Not looking like a not looking like a fruitful search. And I don't want to spend all day here. I want to spend all day here. Howl Knight's pretty good. You know, I've never actually played through it. Um, I had fun with the little bit I played. So, I mean, I can't recommend it because I haven't finished it, but, uh... Yeah. Millions of people can't be wrong, right? <laughs> yes, they can. But that's okay. Yeah, give it a try. Alright, so the strong attack is a one-hit kill. That's good to know. Eh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everyone calm down. Heal. Oh, there's a lot of you. Why? Here we go. Oh. All right, there's one. And then these guys are glowing. Man, really? Even with max humanity? Mediocre. Not a one. My goodness. The game knows, I tell ya. It's like it knows. <laughs> Lemon's having too easy of a time. Don't give him anything more than a plus five. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, well. Screw you too, game. I ain't sitting here all day. I guess, you know what, there's some large Titanite shards in, um, in Sen's Fortress. There's enough to get one level, one weapon up to, uh, plus ten. We'll just do that. That's fine, we'll just do that. Can I use resin? Um, technically, yeah. I, I'm not doing it, but you could, I suppose. Not against the rules. Ow. Eh. 
Wow, yeah, zero drops. Near maximum item find and zero drops. It's a sign. Oh, there's one, excuse me. <laughs> a singular drop. Thanks, game. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. I'm done with this place. This Zelda music? Heck yeah. This is, I think, Link's Awakening? Memory serves. Can't you buy them in cents? You can, but my god, are they expensive. Do you need to be human to get the humanity drop chance? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. Eh. Eh. There you go. Ow. Alright, well. Welcome to Blighttown. <laughs> you swear item items drop more without item discovery? I know. I know. Alright, anyway. A little bit more in there. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm done with it. I'm over it. Excuse me. Yeah, if you need sleep, go ahead and get some. Go and get some. Sleep is good for you. Alright. Moving right along. Up, 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 up. Okay, here we go. Resident Evil 7 and 8 are really good. They're first person. I know, I know. You should try because the stalker enemies are back. Oh, yay. <laughs> so happy. No, I know. I've heard good things. I've played the demo for Resident Evil 7 <laughs> in VR, <laughs> which was a mistake, um, which is probably why I'm you know, leaning towards like, I don't want to play that anymore. <laughs> but uh, one of these days. One of these days I'll, I'll play it. I don't own it yet, so I'll get around to it. You know, have I played Hollow Knight? I have played a little bit of it. Um, I got distracted and uh, never went back to it, so unfortunate. But uh, for the little I played, it was fun. All right, get out of my way. Thank you. Okay. Dishonored or Thief with grenades only? Does Dishonored have grenades? I haven't played it in so long. I know it has magic powers, and those are pretty cool. But I don't remember if it had grenades. Because if it does, that's... That's a that's a doable one. Holy crap. That'd be great. Bob! Love my stuff. Patience build is tried and true. <laughs> you know... If patience doesn't solve the problem, nothing will. <laughs> At least for video games. Usually. Alrighty. Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Do I got a favorite game? Salt and Sanctuary. I'd say is probably one of my favorite games of all time. At least currently. Used to be Zelda. Or uh, Ocarina of Time, I should say. Let me, let me rest up and then we'll come back down and we'll see if we can get better luck with the uh, ghost daggers. Um, yeah, it used to be Ocarina of Time, and before that it used to be the Jurassic Park game on Sega Genesis, which I have done a video of. Um, but uh, but currently it's probably about Salt and Sanctuary or Salt and Sacrifice, one of the two. Why do I never lock on? Because I'm a pro! And also because lock on tends to get you killed unless you have like a shield... And there's only one enemy. Um, part of becoming very good at Dark Souls is knowing when and when not to lock on to enemies. Um, for the dagger, you're better off just not locking on, typically speaking. Um, because when you don't lock on, you can dodge all eight directions. But if you are locked on, you can only dodge uh, four. So you have to make that sacrifice. All right. Let's go see how bad Ghost Town is. Worst case scenario, we'll go get the parry dagger. Best case scenario, we'll get the ghost dagger on top of it. Which would be pretty cool. Because I have not played with that one, and I want to see what it does. Alright. Dark Souls 1 is cathartic? Yes, very much so. 
Have I considered doing one of the Fallout games or Outward? Uh, people keep telling me to do Fallout 4 with Molotovs. Apparently. Um, I would like to do Dark- er, Dark Souls. <laughs> I would like to do Fallout 3 with grenades, that'd be pretty cool. I know it's been done before, but it might be fun just to kind of revisit that game. See the jank. And the same goes for Fallout 4. I'd, I'd give that a try. Might be fun. Alright, let's see. Good there. Ghost Dagger, let's see what we can do, huh? Do I have a favorite boss? Uh, if we're talking Dark Souls 1, probably... I know I've mentioned it before, I don't remember which one I actually chose, though. Dark Souls 1, not particularly, I guess. Oh, that's not so bad. That's, that's decent damage, we can work with that. Ow! Yeah, we can kill a couple ghosties with this, we'll be fine. be fine. I don't know. If you if you if you forced me to pick one, I guess I'd probably say Artorias or Manus. Molotov's grenades and falls are nice because there's no limit to how many you can carry. Oh good. Then we'll be just fine. <laughs> Wait, you're live? No, this is all a recording. <laughs> this is all a recording. Well, there's something. Might be more curses, might be more my weapons, you never know. That didn't drop anything, thank god. More curses, okay, well. That's alright. Oh boy. I have made a crucial error. I've gone too far. Let's see what we can do here. Get out of the way. I want the parry dagger. I think this is it. Schwa. Schwa. There you go. That's the spirit. Alright, there's something. Oh god. Oh god. Well, okay. We're gonna have to go back for those humanity. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Alright, let's uh... Let's uh, go back. The jagged ghost plate is a dagger, isn't it? Sure is. We're gonna go for it. There's our parry dagger. Look at that. Fancy. That's a parry window if I've ever seen it. I feel like the music is repeating. I'm gonna change the music real quick. Hold on a minute. Sit tight. Let's go... Yeah, let's try some of this, huh? Okay, we're back. Ghostblade has a 1% drop chance and only from the Banshee. Oh, really? Well, okay. Well, we probably won't get the Ghostblade, but with the Jagged Blade is in there somewhere, I think. I guess I'm going to parry Gwyn. <laughs> I'm certainly going to try. We'll see. Jagged Ghostblade is a curved sword? No. That can't be right. That can't be right. Terraria only with grenades? Oh, don't you worry. That's been on my list. That's been on my list. That's a very RNG heavy run, unfortunately. Or it's just going to take a long time, so it's kind of on the back burner for like a later time. But uh, once I finish up some of my longer runs, like uh, Demon Souls and Elden Ring with just fire bombs, um, then we'll be able to do some other ones that take a little longer. You've got the wiki open. It's a curved sword. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we're gonna have to go kill that banshee real quick. If only just to go get my stuff back. But at least now we know we can just kind of speed run through, so that's cool. Later, losers. Gotta go fast. Secure with only firecrackers. Those don't do damage. Don't lie to me. Ow. Okay. 
Nope, nope. This is me telling you to get out of the way. This is me forcefully telling you to get out of the way. Thank you. All right. No. Stop it. Stop it. Get out of the way. Oh, God. Well, that's it. Okay. <laughs> cool. I didn't want those humanities anyway. <sighs> Whatever. That's fine. That is the game telling me to give up and move on. And we will. Robert, welcome. Thank you for joining. Enjoy your emotes. Let's go kill a butterfly, I guess. Let's go do that. Bye, humanity. Hope you find your dad. All right. Butterfly time. For April Fools, you should just do a regular Dark Souls run. We actually did that a few weeks ago. We actually did that. It was fun. I was a paladin. Butterfly with no damage? You're forgetting about the bleed. Although I don't know if butterflies actually bleed capable. We'll find out. It'll be fine. Can't even give someone a vagrant. I know. I know. Can't even put those humanities to use. How's the run been? Run's fine. We've, uh, we're cleared out of everything per except for the butterfly and iron golem for the first half of the game, so we're doing good there. We were hoping to get some more daggers and such, but, uh, got cheated of that, so just running in with the bandit knife, I guess. But we got a parry dagger, though, so that's not so bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sure, take the large ember. I don't care. All right. Can I reinforce this? What do I have? Or modify, I should say. I have four. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Uh, just this should be fine for now. Okay. Modify to plus six. Cool. And reinforce a little bit more. And a little bit more. And we'll have enough to get that all the way upgraded later. Actually, before I make a fool of myself, I'm going to spend this. <laughs> the evil Mr. Meow Meow. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Enjoy your emotes. All right, let's get the weapon smith box. That way, when we get to... Um, or seen as Smo, I can possibly upgrade my weapon, maybe, to plus 10? Or at the very least, uh, maybe a boss soul, I don't even know. What da- oh no, there's Priscilla's dagger, that's the- you don't need any boss souls to do that. Ah, whatever, it's fine. At the very least, now I can just upgrade my weapon whenever. Isn't that right, Mr. Tree? Well, Two hits, that's not bad. That's not bad. Can you do Dark Souls 2 with whips? Would be torture. I disagree. Uh, Dark Souls 2 whips, while very fragile, do a lot of damage if you hit with the very end of them. <clears throat> so if you, uh, if you practice <laughs> and learn the, like, you know, the, the distance you need to use them from, uh, I think they actually do a lot of damage. But we'll get there. What was that? <laughs> Someone just said a tip. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, my thing didn't keep track of it. Well, whoever tipped, I apologize because the chat doesn't say what that was. But thank you so much for the tip. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. There are six daggers in the game. Well, we've got like four of them. So we're doing pretty good. Not doing bad. Okay. You just just like uh, durability. I understand that. Filthy casual. <laughs> Filthy casual 101. I've taken that class. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emotes. Now right, let's see if we can't grab some of our uh, some brand armor here. Yoink. Excuse me. Pardon me. Got my way. We'll just squeeze our way through here. There we go. 
<laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft's got some pretty good music, not gonna lie. Very relaxing stuff. Alright, can I get all this off, and can I put on the helmet at the very least? Have a ring for the win, we can do it. Um, let's see if I can put on some... Ow, what, really? You're joking. Alright, well. You made me, you made me do this. Cool. Real excited about that. <laughs> That'll be fun. Alright, I know chat told me if I fat roll and roll forward, I can uh, dodge all the attacks. So let's see if chat is right on that one. I am still not fat rolling. <laughs> let's get a little bit more. A little bit more in there. Come on down here. Wow, yeah, that actually works. <laughs> That's upsetting. Oh, no. All right, Mr. Butterfly, you, uh, okay. All right, well, yeah, I'm waiting on you over here. That's all. Just waiting on you, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Got some daggers with your name on it. Oh, chat, you liars. S still taking a little bit of damage here. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's good damage. Oh, no, no, no. Two rotations? I can work two rotations. Black leather. We can leave that on. Black leather. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Magnus! Bonfire, baby! <laughs> also, I am the storm that is approaching. Okay. Well... Magnus is, uh, Magnus is feeling good today. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Okay, well that's... We're gonna have to just to disagree on that one there. There we go. Come on. <laughs> this thing is pretty. Yeah, pretty boring. Oh, it heard me. There we go. Can't the butterfly bleed? Well, to be fair, bugs just have guts. They don't really have blood. So, I guess it makes sense that it doesn't. Oh. I'll top this off a little bit, just to be safe. And... Give you your lumps real quick. Thanks for the souls. Bye! There we go. Easy a peasy. Most hard boss. Yes, so difficult. So very, very hard. <laughs> okay. So with that done, swing over up here, grab that divine ember, which we will need later for sure, and get the hell out of here. So, thinking a little bit of health there. Health never hurt anybody. Who's the easier boss, Pinwheel or Butterfly? Um, I would argue Pinwheel because most people hit him so hard that he never really gets off many attacks, whereas the Butterfly can at least avoid attacks for a time. And if you aren't prepared to you know, have any kind of magic defense, you can get wrecked pretty hard. So I'd say that's about, uh... I'd say Pinwheel. Hey Xerxes, how we doing? Let me eat my light salad in front of this knife-wheeling maniac, exactly. <laughs> you know, I know we're in the middle of combat, but man, I just gotta eat. Alright. Anyone I can, anything I can recommend for someone new to Sultan Sanctuary? Uh, that depends entirely on what kind of recommendation I'm making you there. If I'm recommending like a build, or if I'm recommending games, or... Food? Like, I, I don't <laughs> Gonna have to be a little more specific. Here, buddy. Yeah, here, take this divine ember. Okay, cool, thanks, bye. 
All right. Good there. With that, we're out of things. Let's go do Sense Fortress. Yeah, two hours in and we're already at Sense. Not bad. Not bad. Something new in gaming that picked my interest or piqued my interest. Um, so you just mean like a new game that might have piqued my interest? Oh boy. Uh, hmm. nothing at the moment. The uh, the gaming. The only thing I've really been seeing a lot of with the gaming market as of late. Oh boy. Uh, is a lot of problems with microtransactions and such. Wow, that's a one hit kill. Daggers are awesome. <laughs> uh, I've been keeping an eye on like what Diablo Immortal is doing to the gaming market and things like that. That's that's been kind of my focus as of late. Um, haven't really seen any games that pique my interest. But then again, I also haven't really been paying a whole lot of attention, so I'm sure there's plenty that have gone unnoticed by me, gone under the radar, as it were. Let's see if we can. Yep, there we go. I'm just gonna give you the old Sense Fortress welcome. There you go. Okay. I've earned these. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along. Daggers all secretly have like extra critical damage on top of the list of critical damage? I don't think so. I think, um. The thing is, like, if you do a repost, you'll get a lot of critical damage. And if you do a backstab, you'll do a lot of critical damage, but less. So daggers tend to lead themselves towards reposting, which is great. Oh, hello. How are we doing today? We're. Alright. I will, uh, see you later. Bye. Um. Yeah, I think I think they do as much as they say. I don't think that's an issue. Okay. If I do tend to come back for that gold serpent ring, we'll come back for that later. Let's move on. Let's move on. What's the music right now? This is from Hyper Delight Drifter. Dark Souls 3 servers are up, so PvP. Yay, PvP. Oh, you mean like like the video I did for uh, Salt and Sanctuary? Yeah. That's that'd be hard. <laughs> I am I am very good at Salt and Sanctuary. I am not very good at Dark Souls, despite what most people think. Um or maybe don't think, I don't know. Uh I mostly succeed at all of my challenge runs with patience. Stream, I need you to work on. Uh, come on, there you go. Xerxes, thank you. I saw the tip that time. Thank you so much. And again, it's not going to show up in the chat. So Xerxes, if you wouldn't mind, could you repost the um, the question in the chat for me? That way I can uh, read it read it off for you. Sorry, there's a it's a it's a coding thing. We don't we don't have everything working just the way we want it to just yet. Okay, well something just swapped me right in the back. That's cool. There we go. Let's. We can run across. Better than most people? Not better than my community, I'll tell you that much. They are. I have a lot of Dark Souls <laughs> veterans in my community, and uh, they worry me. So. Let's step here, and I'm going to actually sit at it this time. I won't make that mistake again. I won't make that mistake again. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, Haley. Uh, I will I will mod you. I'll mod you after the fact. Um, I'd have to open up a couple extra windows in order to give you that mod, and unfortunately, um, I don't really have the bandwidth to do that right now. We're already struggling as is, so. Uh, but I will get you, don't you worry. I got you, man. I got you, fella. Dark Souls 2, please from. I know, right? There's Xerxes. Did not have a question, just wanted to invite you to coffee for your awesome work. Aww. 
Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and to those that... If I do miss anyone's donations, I do apologize. Um, you know how things go. Especially with Dark Souls, where you're kind of really focusing on stuff that's on screen, so sometimes I miss it. Uh, I do tend to go back through my streams to read the chat real quick. Um, kind of like, you know, blur through them. Um, just to see if anyone had any suggestions I might have missed, or just any donations I might have missed. So, if I do miss it, I apologize. I promise I go back and check it. I also read all the comments. I know that's probably not good for me, but <laughs> I do read all the comments, so... Um, if you just put something there, I definitely have read it. Even if I don't respond to it, there's obviously too many comments to actually respond all the time. But, uh, yeah. I see him. I see you. I see you, random guy that tells me I shouldn't do challenge runs. That was hurtful. <laughs> I forgive you. There we go. Easy peasy. Kind of look like Venheim. Hmm, yeah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I see the inspiration. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't forget about it, man. <laughs> did I get the bonfire? I did. I sat down. All right. <laughs> Where am I? What am I going to do? What you going to do? All right, how bad is this going to be? Oh, this could be bad. This is going to be bad. It was at that moment he knew. He fucked up. All right, well, if he keeps throwing temper tantrums, we'll be fine. My boy, I just killed your predecessor earlier this week. If I can kill him, I can kill you. That's a Demon Souls reference for those of you that don't know. I do wonder. I know a lot of people did not vote for Demon Souls, which I was kind of surprised at, to be honest. Um, I would have thought that people would want to see the suffering that comes from that game. But uh, I kind of wonder how many people have actually played or seen Demon Souls before. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what the interest is there. Look at you go- you really just gonna balance just like that? And now I'm not gonna be able to do, da do the damage, am I? I swear, if I can't get the damage in, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh! What? Alright, yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Alright, so he can be knocked off with a dagger. That's good to know. What am I doing? Let's two-hand this thing. Okay, that's fine. I meant to do that. Okay. Play the PS3 version for the memes? Uh, play the PS3 version because I am not... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, play the PS3 version because I don't want to pay $2,000 for a PS5. I only have the PS3 version. And it works just fine. It was actually the reason I bought a PS3 to begin with, honestly. So it's kind of kind of funny that if I bought a PS5, it would be also for Demon Souls. But, uh, yeah, no. The PS3 was on sale when I bought it, so so I that was okay. I will not buy a PS5 until it goes down to a normal human being price. Because holy hell no. Kingsfield? Yeah, Kingsfield would be cool. Demon's Souls is kind of tricky to do, yeah, because of the boss gimmicks. Yes, I agree. Uh, definitely finding that to be true. Uh, but also finding the legend of uh, the firebomb will never die. Uh, because firebombs tend to just push their way through any gimmicks. <laughs> At least that's what's been proving so far. Once again, everybody's sleeping on those firebomb damage, I'm telling you. Not the cost, though, holy hell. There's a reason it took me a couple months to get that run rolling. You'll see, though. You'll see. Give it time. Give it time. <laughs> the firebombs never die. Yeah, we really do need to get a Firebomb Academy t-shirt going. That would be... That would be real cool. 
think that'd be nice. I've got I've got a couple people working on it right now, getting the blueprint designs going. We'll see if we come up with something. In the meantime, out of curiosity, um, I don't think they've gone out yet. But does if, if anybody gets a T-shirt, if anyone bought the T-shirt and gets theirs at some point, because they're supposed to be out between September 1st and September 14th. Um, but yeah, if you get your T-shirt, let me know. I want to know if it's uh, if it got you and if you enjoy the quality. Because if you don't like the quality, if something's wrong with it, one, we need to get your refund, and two. Um, I need to decide whether or not I want to use the same company for the next, you know, next merch we do. So if people like the quality, that'd be really good to know. There we go. There we go. That's looking good. I can work with this. Uh, but yeah, if you like the quality, I need to know. That way I can quickly get set up with the next bit of merch in the next, like, you know, three months or so. <laughs> I say quickly, but... Later! Okay. Well, hey, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. Is this the music from Starbound? Sure is. <laughs> I was the sound before it was cool. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Catching this stream in between classes? You and a lot of other people, I think. Oh, you people. And your school. Oh, that's schooling. Sweet summer children. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding. Alright. <laughs> Jagger! Sorry about Iron Golem. He ended up having a bit too much of the sexy party solar S to soup. Hopefully this covers the damages. <laughs> It'll do. I'll take your hush money. Alright, let's see. I'm thinking... Let's get this to 15, and then let's get this to 14, because I want to have more stamina. On Ghost Town and Blight Town, there are two fire keepers. Well, yes, there are. You're absolutely correct. We did not grab them, but it's okay. We'll be fine. But Louise, thank you so much for donating. Much appreciated. Do I have a normie job? <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Why do you got to make it sound like that, huh? Why does the description say Dark Souls 2? That's a good question. It shouldn't. It should say Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. I guess YouTube, uh, maybe in the struggle in the beginning of the stream, because the stream did kind of get off to a rocky start for some reason. Um, when I started the stream on OBS, it did not start on YouTube, so I had to kind of goof things. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe that's what did it. I think maybe YouTube is just guessing at what we're playing. And doing a very bad job of it. I parry your jump, and I stab you in the chest. There we go. You will know the minute you get your shirt. Excellent. <laughs> the body reveal. You don't have to do that, man. You can always just take a picture of the shirt. <laughs> you can just take a picture. You don't have to dox yourself. That would be cool, though. I, I am excited to see, uh... I am excited to see a couple, you know, shirt pictures in the Discord. That'd be cool. Mostly because I'd like to see what the other colors look like. I know what green looks like. That was the one I was worried about. So I got that one for myself. As a... Ow. As a sample. Mostly to test the quality, but also to test, uh... Oh, God, this is gonna be badly... Yep, I thought so. Uh, and also just to test the, the quality and the color. But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen the other colors in person, so should be cool. Hey, dorks. <laughs> Judge, why are you calling everybody a whale penis, huh? Why you gotta do that? Description says, description shoutouts an ASDF. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so it must be using my, um, yeah, so when we, when we goofed it, it reverted to the filler description where I normally change everything, uh, apparently it, uh, yeah, that's cool. So, there's a peek behind the curtain. You got the banana one? Nice! Yeah, we got yellow. A lot of people ordered blue, I think. I saw a, a couple people ordered white, which is kind of funny. Um, 
And then, uh, I think I saw a couple of the reddish ones as well. But I think blue won by, like, an overwhelming margin. A lot of people like that cool blue. And I don't blame you. You can wear that as, like, under your work shirt. And no one will know that you're carrying Tony around. Secret Tony's everywhere. Just like real life. Kick you in the face, stab you in the face. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> This is Dark Souls, my friend. Dark Souls daggers only. That's what we're doing. The song right now, this is Castlevania. Uh, I can't remember exactly which one. Probably uh, Vampire Killer or something like that, maybe. It's the first level of Castlevania, so. All right. Ow. <laughs> Must you throw? Really? Okay, alright. Oh, wow, alright. That counts. <laughs> that, uh, that late parry, apparently. Alright, we're gonna make it this time. We're gonna make it this time, I believe. And you know why? Because we're speedrunning it. Later, nerds! Oh, why did you backstep? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Yay! Well, at least that guy... <laughs> that guy, that guy couldn't handle it. Oh well. Oh well. Nice to catch me during a live stream. Hey, plain daggers only? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, and or ma'am. I don't judge you. Names are names are mouth sounds. They don't mean anything. All right. You're about to celebrate my speedrunning. To be fair, I did it successfully. And then proceeded to not land properly. Or maybe I just... I, I succeeded at jumping, but I failed at walking. That sounds about right for me. I feel like that's that's pretty much the, uh, <laughs> the epitome of this channel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Names are just mouth sounds. How do I quote this? I don't think YouTube has a quote system just yet. Unfortunately. It's the one thing Twitch has over us. It's quoting. The bastards. Alright. Let's see. Pokemon Snap Music. Heck yeah, guy. Heck yeah. Only the finest music for chat. I think there is actually clips, though. There are clips. Um, but how they work on YouTube is beyond me. Like, I don't think anyone can, like, just send them to me or anything like that. I don't know. Still working the kinks out of that one. One day, someone will get bored enough to just do a clip montage for my streams. That'd be cool. Looking forward to that day. But until that day... <laughs> You just had to be there. What are you doing there, guy? Alright, you attack too fast, and I don't like it. It makes me upset. Also, you think you're good enough for a sippy rake? You think you earned that? I think not. Oh, man. Alright. Cody, how about a Dark Souls 1 challenge where you PvP your community, but they are handicapped by having to use the boss armors and their weapons? Interesting thought. The problem with that is that we are on PC, and Dark Souls 1 and 2 have yet to get servers back. Dark Souls 3 is allegedly back online, so I've been told. But, uh... The other one's not so much. Not yet. Yeah, backstep time. That's right, yeah. Time to do some more backstepping. Okay. We got this. We got the Borderlands 2 music going. Get wrecked, nerd. Aha! 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 <laughs> Alright, how many of those do you have? Let's let's take that one on the chin for you. There we go. Go ahead and fall. 
Here, I'll help you out. There you go. Oh, I didn't even go all the way down. Disappointing. Okay. Dark Souls 3 is running online. On PC? On PC? It's gotta be PC. Alright. There we go. Nice. Um, we have the doll. We can go that way. I think it's time for a new dagger, don't you? Ow! Gargoyle agrees. I guess. Allegedly. Why haven't I made a boss montage to this music? This music is bopping. Yeah, for PC, oh, PC, PvP. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's one game down. As soon as they get Dark Souls 1 going, we can start that run. It'll only take me about a year. <laughs> little known little known fact, the Sultan Sanctuary PvP run took 10 months of scheduling <laughs> to make that work. So, uh, I know, unfortunately, no one really, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of an audience for that video, but man oh man, that, that was a, that was a project. But when you're fighting people from literally all over the world, time zones are hard. Especially when you have to work around a work schedule. Made things difficult, for sure. Alright. PTDE has online. It does, but the problem is that most people don't have it because they no longer sell it. So we will have to play on Remastered. Which is unfortunate, but uh, such is life. There we go. Alright. There we go. Yay! Catch me if you can. Is Sultan Sanctuary PvP a thing? It technically is, yes. Uh, and we made it a thing. With brute force. <laughs> it actually worked out really well. I was actually very surprised. Um, I think there was only like one or two people that had lag that was so bad that we couldn't operate. Um, other than that, though, everyone else had a good time. They said the lag was minimal at best, and uh, PvP in Sultan Sanctuary is fantastic. Just like it is in Sultan Sacrifice. Boom! <coughs> Which is a bummer, because we kind of have to wait for Steam for anyone to really get into Sultan Sacrifice. I cannot see how much health you have. Eh. Alright. Oh, okay. I did not know the drag could kill him, but I will take it. My turn. Uh, where at me? Do you bleed? You are undead. I don't think you do. But we will find out. Hmm. Man, oh man. Alright. Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, we got it. Okay, we're okay. We're fine. How's the day? Day is good. Thank you for asking. I guess you'll buy Salt and Sanctuary. Now keep in mind, like I said, when it comes to PvP, we had to brute force it. But... If you have any friends that are interested in playing with you, you can play PvP for free. <coughs> and what I mean by that is, is that um, if one of you owns Sultan Sanctuary, the other one does not need to. You can just parsec it, or if they both, if you both have Steam, you can do it that way. Um, just do that uh, Steam stream together, Delio. Yeah, there's a whole... I have a whole outline on how to do it on the wiki I made for Salt and Sanctuary. Um, that should be around here somewhere. So Use that if you have any trouble with it. 
Uh, water break. Everybody drink up. Ah, that's better. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what's going on here. Um, bunch of business stuff on the other end. We don't care about that right now. Sippy time. That's right. Everybody take a sippy break. <laughs> that's why I should be calling it sippy breaks. Lemon, you fool. Hellwalker. The super simp in me demands you pet the fluffy tail before removing it permanently. I'll see what I can do. There we go. Sips chocolate milk. Man, I wish I had chocolate milk. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> oh, lordy. The Jumpy Gamer. Never been one for streams, but you've been watching since last year. Wanted to say your stuff is awesome, and it's great to have a wholesome creator. Aw, thank you. Keep it up and take care of yourself. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you so much for donating. Really appreciate you. All right. No dagger. Let me just pet the tail a little bit. There you go. All better? Cool. Give me the tail. Give it. Give it there. It's not alcoholism, it's called a sippy break. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can run that one. <laughs> don't think we can sell that on the merch shop. Yeah, there you are. I'm gonna need you to un... Is it a poise thing? It might be a poise thing. Ow. I really hope we don't kill her on accident. <laughs> did I get blood loss or did you bleed? I don't know. Come on. Wake up. Oh, I'm worried. I thought that was a bleed. Oh, no. <laughs> Chug tinnies with the lads. <laughs> Do I eat melon? Uh, I like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is really good. I'm not a fan of watermelon. It tastes like a sponge. Alright, what if I take out my fist and just punch her into submission? Will that work? Who knows how this works? Who knows how this works? Quit out if you can't get the tail. I'm trying, man. I don't. The problem is, is like I don't. I can't tell if I'm <laughs> where we're at here. I need poise damage. I think. Someone fill me up. Someone fill me up. And then, uh, as far as uh, the playlist, people are asking for the playlist. It is in the Discord. Uh, if you go to the Discord and go to Frequently Asked Questions, I have put a link for it there. <laughs> oh my god. Bread, I'm gonna need you to unmod yourself there, bud. I'm gonna... <laughs> that joke. Holy hell. That was, that was a dad joke if I've ever seen it. Good lord. The music is a great slow beat. I know. Robocop, man. Who'd have thought? You try with fist. It is poise damage. You nearly kill her with fist and she didn't get visible. Oh, okay. So it's not. So what is it then? Which one is it? Two-handed dagger might help get enough tail band. You know, is she going to turn invisible right away? Once I get in there? I guess we'll find out. Does dagger upgrade with dra dragon scale? I don't know. I don't know. Also, hi! <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. Two ultra great swords, but with the insufficient stats, very low damage, and high stamina? No. <laughs> that sounds terrible. No, thank you. You need to stagger her. Right, right. But how? I'm using a dagger. I don't think it staggers. Didn't I make some lo fi Dark Souls music? Uh, Spencer made some lo fi Dark Souls music for us. Uh, we did do that. Yep, that's a thing. Um, I will say you can search for it and find it. Uh, it's not quite lo-fi lo-fi. Ow, Jesus, okay. How are we going to do this, guys? How the hell are we going to do this? Jump attack my stagger? Ooh, that's an idea. Yeah, jump attack. Good idea, good idea. That's an idea. Alright. Uh, what song is this? This is a uh, RoboCop theme song <laughs> for the Game Boy. 
think Game Boy Color. Yeah, it's a good song though, for sure. Definitely one of my favorites. Spencer's the same Spencer for my Carly, by the way. <laughs> yep. You want to know where he went to? Now we know. Now you know. Alright, let's see here. You didn't miss the stream? No, you did not. We've uh, we've still got about an hour, I'd say. Give or take. Give or take. What run is this? This is the dagger only run. I know, I, we originally had the, uh... <laughs> I originally had a title and everything, but unfortunately, YouTube ate that today, so, uh... We are kinda just streaming, apparently. Allegedly streaming Dark Souls 2, if, uh, if YouTube is to be believed. But, uh, yeah. Bye, Mortimer. See you later. Is Spencer in the chat right now? I don't think so. Oh, nope, yes he is. He is there. That's Spencer right there. Spencer, promote yourself. You have my permission. <laughs> Spencer does some awesome music. He's made us some music in the channel. We made the lo-fi songs. That was pretty good. Really happy about how that turned out. Got a whole album there. Where is she? There she is. Eh. Where is she? Eh. <laughs> this could be real bad. Uh, but yeah, but he makes a lot of D uh, he makes a lot of Dungeons and Dragons music too, which is really cool. If you haven't heard his stuff, you really, you really deserve to listen to it. <laughs> I'm Spencer from my Carly. <laughs> see, I told you. All right, let's see. You all didn't believe me. Get. All right, I'm hitting her. Ow. <laughs> I'm hitting something. Allegedly. Oh. Try that again. Okay, cool. Yep, mm-hmm, yep. This is fine. Everything's fine. We're doing great. All this for a dagger. It's gonna be great. This dagger's gonna do so much damage, you guys. <laughs> right here, new plan. She walks up. We're gonna let her do her little spin. I'm gonna try to hit her. Uh -huh. Okay. That's it. Hack slash. I just want to see you so I can get the tail! Okay. Okay, alright. <sighs> Where is she? There she is. Alright, so it's starting to look like the, uh... The jumping attack idea is not really panning out. So... <laughs> what else you guys got? I'm open to suggestions. Ow. <laughs> oh man. Maybe kicks can break your poise? I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> sincerely doubt it. Does Priscilla not have a health bar? She doesn't when she's invisible. Which is kind of a problem because I don't know if we're going to accidentally kill her or not with the bleed damage. And I don't think daggers do very much poise damage to begin with, so we're kind of, you know, at the mercy here. Plunging attack? Yeah, sure, let me just plunge from space. I'll just, uh, do that real quick, yeah? <laughs> no. Uh, no way to do a plunging attack to her, unfortunately. Ow. <laughs> what build are we running? Uh, daggers only. Just doing some daggers. Parry. No, you can't parry her. Can't parry her. Ach. Start a charge. There is no charge attacks in Dark Souls 1. Keep guessing, though. Keep trying. Talk about a tone shift, I know, right? <laughs> Absolutely. 856 viewers, what percent of YouTube streamers does that put me in? Well, considering that... Um, some of the big Twitch streamers moved over to YouTube. Like, what's his name? <sighs> the guy with the the goatee, or the beard, or is it just, no, it's just a stash now. You know the one, Ludwig. That's the guy. 
Considering he's over here on YouTube, I don't think we're really in the top percent or anything like that. Still, though, would, would be interested to know. If anyone has that statistic, let me know. Try buffing your weapon. I have no buffs. Good good idea. Don't have it. I also don't think that does more... Uh, I see someone else new Ludwig. <laughs> I knew the description would count. He's only one guy. Yeah. I'm the top percent of your hearts. You should probably talk to a doctor about that. Just saying. What's his name is the most famous YouTuber? <laughs> yep. Alright, we're gonna try our two attacks. We're gonna just try that. Just eh. Man, I gotta say the uh tonal shift from the music getting a little wild. Ow, okay. I need you to not do that. What about like a running attack? That seems like pretty poisy, right? Seems like something that would knock you over a little bit. <laughs> Who has the hidden math on the poise damage from a deck? <laughs> Someone's gotta know. Where's Kendra when you need her? Where'd you go? It's time to play Where's That Dragon Lady? Waifu. Damn it, that would have been a better joke. Where's that waifu? Fuck. Alright, everyone, just sign off and come back on. We'll, we'll do it again. Line? <laughs> R2s will do more poise damage? If you say so. Eh. If they connect. Oh, there she is. Just... Just come out of stealth, please. Just, I just need you to just go to... Uh, throw dagger so you can see her. Yeah, but that doesn't tell me where the tail is. The problem is, is that while she's invisible, she's more than likely just, like, locked in on us. So I don't think she... Like, we have a chance of getting her tail. Ah! And that's what we were here for. We just need the tail. If this was just... If we were just going for damage, the swipes would be over. But... But I need the tail. Give me the tail. Give me the tail. Ah. <laughs> Use curl up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Get your heaviest dagger. <laughs> Throwing daggers turns off invisibility. I don't think it works the way you guys are saying. Oh, man. Complete that asses now, too. Just want a tail. The problem is every time we kind of start losing her, the poise damage kind of resets. That's not good either. Ugh. Why are you the Why are you the struggle bus here? Huh? I'll mod it in. Don't think I won't. <laughs> She's handing your tail to you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Daggers one-handed do six points damage while and eight while two-handed. How do you know that? Okay, well that's that's good to know. Um, still feel like that's not enough poise damage to actually break her out of it. Unfortunately, the torch will show her silhouette. Well, you can't hold a torch in Dark Souls one. What are you guys on about? The hell are you on about over there? Do we have heavier armor? We don't need to fast roll. Eh, I mean, it kind of gets me out of the danger zone every now and again. Use the weapon art. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let me just use the weapon art. Wait, no! <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just trying the BOFA strategy. I don't know what the BOFA strategy is, but yeah, sure, totally. A lot of the Dark Souls community wants her tail. Maybe not for the same reason, though. I mean... You got me, man. I don't know. I just work here. Can I do more XCOM? I mean, yeah. Always. The problem is, is that we've kind of done Dark Souls... Er, Dark Souls. I keep saying Dark Souls. We're, we're playing Dark Souls. I have kind of done all of the XCOM 1 runs I can really think of that would be interesting. Oh. Judge, no. I'm, don't don't you set me up with that. Don't you dare. <laughs> I, see, I see what you're doing. I caught you. I caught you. I'm learning. <laughs> Both of these nuts. <laughs> yeah, where are you? Let's just hack and slash. Screw it. 
If she dies, she dies. It's her fault for not giving it to me. I just wanted the tail. I asked politely. I'm trying to ask so nicely here, and you just won't do it. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There's a bleed. All right. Back at it. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Where are you? In front of me? Cool. Okay. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> Someone clip that. <laughs> The only thing you can find that says that she has between 77 and 152 poise health, and that the banner dagger does five one-handed and seven and a half two-handed. So that doesn't sound good. No, it does not. That sounds like a dead dragon to me. All right. Well, that's uh. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump on over. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to our live stream here. Apparently, I can edit this. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's do. Let's fix that for later. Uh, but what we're going to do here? So I'm gonna go back to. No, no, no. Get back to the stream here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a poll. Un momento. Okay. All right. I leave it in chat's hands. I leave it in your hands. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> that keyboard is loud, sorry. <laughs> I don't normally use it. I usually just use the, you know. I usually just use the uh, controller. Also, Ixy, if you're here somewhere, uh, if you wanna say a word, that way I can mod you in, that'd be great. There he is. All right. Uh, add moderator. Gotcha. <laughs> Ixie's got the uh <laughs> Ixie's got the the final solution there. Mod it in and then kill her with it. <laughs> My chat is full of monsters, don't I know it? Hmm. I'll be honest, it's um it's a closer it's closer than I thought it'd be. I'll give it uh I'll give it another thirty seconds. Another thirty seconds. Firebomb to dirt to turn her invisible? That does work. Firebombs weirdly do stagger damage. Can you use a RAR that staggers with no damage? I unfortunately do not have that. Oh. I don't think that does stagger damage, though. <laughs> and a monster bigger than I. Uh-oh. The monsters are winning, guys. <laughs> They're slowly winning. Another 10 or 15 seconds. <clears throat> That is really close. <coughs> Ooh, oh boy. Try horse. Ah, good good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Throw a potato at her. Wrong game. Wrong game. Alright. Three, two, one. Close pull. Let's see how it came out. It was so close. Ah, oh, 51%. Okay, okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are modding it in. Dragon Lady gets to live. I guess. So give me one second while I pull that up on my side here. All right. Doop, doop. And we're gonna go here. Okay. Let's go to the game. And what we're gonna do, we'll take this long sword, we'll just change it into it. How's that sound? Okay. 
There it goes. There it is. All right. She gets to live. Let's see what we're looking at here. Critical damage is terrible. The dexterity bonus is amazing. The bleed effect is holy hell. You thought this was bad. Oh my god. Okay. That's, uh, we can work with that. We can work with that. Let's, uh, well, let's get out of here. And chat, just for you, Priscilla gets to live. Priscilla gets to live. I guess. Let's see what this dagger even looks like. Ooh. Lanky. That damage is really bad right now, though. But uh, we'll, we'll make it work. Ooh, wow. Wow, did you see us? Look at that. Oh, I could be the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah, okay. I'm in. Let's go. Let's fucking go. That is awesome. That is some sweet moves. How about that? We're gonna... You know what? Okay. I think I've just decided. That just decided it. Um, what I'm gonna do... Before the stream ends, somebody please remind me. Um, before the stream ends, I'd like to see what all of the daggers do. Um, so, like we were saying earlier, the ghost dagger is uh, kind of hard to get with the whole one percent thing. So, um, what I'll we'll we'll just mod it in at the end of the stream just to see, because people keep t telling me to do its little move. How does this? Yeah, it does. Hot damn. Um, yeah, so what we'll do though, I'd like to see what it does, but I think instead of just doing a daggers only run, because as we've kind of seen, we're what, three hours into the run and I've already cleared half the game, pretty much. Um, oh, is she gonna be still aggressive? Oh no, she is. All right, hold on. No, no, it's okay. I quit, I quit, I quit. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> this isn't gonna work, is it? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> we have to kill her. <laughs> oh no. That's um well, that's unfortunate. I guess she has to die. You all saw it. I tried. I tried. I tried. Blood for chat is a treat. Yeah, I guess so. Everybody wins. We get to have our dagger, and we get to kill her, too. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, if she doesn't de-aggro from that, then unfortunately we are going to have to murder her. Which is a bummer. I was hoping to get away with it. But such as it is. <laughs> blood for the blood god, skull for the skull throne. Yeah. We tried. We tried. Um, anywho. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to see what the movesets are, because I think what we'll end up doing as far as a video is concerned, daggers only seems to be a little too easy. Um, you can absolve your sins. Uh, not from, not from inside the painting, you can't. You're stuck in here until you either get out through that exit, so. Uh, but what I'd like to do, instead of doing just a daggers only run, maybe what we'll do is kind of like the crystal ring shield run, where we just kind of show off a weapon that most people don't use like Priscilla's dagger, um, because most people are afraid to cut off her tail, apparently. Um, you know what, let's switch over to the bandit knife just so we can get this run done quickly. Uh, oh, good lord. Lady? Here's something else. But yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do a Priscilla's dagger run, and you know, we'll do like we did with the shield where we just kind of modded in in the beginning. And that way we don't have to cut her tail or anything like that. We can make everybody happy. I think that'd be cool. Because I'm sure there's similar daggers in Dark Souls 2 that also don't get showcased very much. Um, so that'd be kind of neat. Just kind of, instead of doing just daggers only, we just do like some interesting daggers only. I think that'd be fun. You can't change my mind. That's what we're doing. All right. Anyway, she ports when she cloaks. Oh. Are. 
really wish I could see her, I'm not gonna lie. Would make this a lot easier. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, what? Really now? With all that dodging I was doing? I disagree. Okay. Why? <laughs> Why is this so hard? Oh my god. That sucks. Hmm. This is not good. We might get stuck here. Is this Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood music? Uh, neither. I don't remember what that was, but it wasn't that. That was, uh, oh, you know what that was? That was, um, Into the Breach. That's what that was. Did I finally start enjoying Elden Ring? Nope. Nope, still hate it. Still can't play it. Pitchfork Run actually sounds interesting. It's, uh, very easy. Which is why I didn't bother doing it. Um... Salton Sanctuary has that same kind of thing that Dark Souls does, where they <laughs> aren't very good at scaling. And so the Pitchfork, while it has garbage damage in the beginning of the game, scales incredibly with like one or two stats, and so it gets really good really quick. So, uh, so yeah, I didn't really bother to do it. Is she technically a gimmick boss? I'd say so, I guess. Eh, there we go. It's soft locked in the painted world, I know, right? Of all places. <laughs> I bless you with the power of simp and money. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hopefully that works. Did I ever do a dragon fist run? I did a Cestus run. Uh, so that was where that would have taken place, but the um the, the dragon bone fist was just a little too heavy and too slow for my liking. So I didn't really use it. I've used it before, though. It's fine. Gets the job done. Alright, do we need to put on, like, heavier armor or something? To, like, stop this whole bleed problem? Eh. Where does she go? She, like, spins around you or something. I don't know, it's so weird. There she is. Okay. Come on. Come on. Priscilla's dagger has the worst bleed buildup in the game. It will almost never proc. Really? Despite that large number, that's not good. So the lo so the number lies. Like it's a num. That's probably the damage it does, but it's not the actual buildup, right? Huh? That's a bummer. <laughs> Best music stream in YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we. I'm pretty proud of the uh, playlist we've thrown together at this point. I'm pretty happy with it. Got a lot of really good music from a lot of classic video games. Oh my god. What's my favorite Souls game? Probably Dark Souls 1 or Demon Souls. I like those a lot. Tap it in. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Death by a thousand cuts over here. Death by a thousand cuts. It has 20 buildup. What is... So, out of curiosity, by comparison, what does the bandit knife have? Just curious. Where are you? Where'd you go? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Demon Souls has his, has a unique vibe, for sure. Yeah, that's why I like it. I know there's a lot of gimmicky bosses, which is kind of like, okay, you know, not much you can do with that, but... Um, but as far as, like, you know, a, uh, a grandfather for Dark Souls goes, I think they can't really do much better. Thoughts on the PS5 Demon Souls? I think that... It's beautiful. I really love that they redid the animations but kept the timing so that veterans like myself could, you know, not be thrown off, which is amazing. Um, I like that they included a secret 
for all the veterans to drool over. Uh, I think that was a really great choice. I like that they did that with, um, Bluepoint has a pattern of doing that with new remasters, which is great. It's a great idea. Um, however, I wish that the PS5 was not ungodly expensive, and because of that fact, I will never buy a PS5 just for Demon Souls, because there's not enough different to warrant it. If they if they fixed World 6 and added that in as more content, then I'd be on the fence about it. I'd be like, eh, maybe I should rebuy it. But uh, as it stands, prettier graphics don't really do anything for me. Like, as far as like buying another game. It's kind of why I don't really play Remastered for Dark Souls 1. Um, so, yeah, I just... It's, it's not enough, unfortunately, for me. Okay, well, that hurts. <laughs> Were daggers bad in Dark Souls 1? Not really. Uh, this boss in particular, apparently, is bad for daggers, but outside of that, uh, no, they're usually pretty good. <laughs> How? How are you hitting me still? <laughs> let's see. I'm kind of tired of being here, so let's... Let's get these humanities on. Let's get the humanities on the hotbar, huh? I want to leave! I would like to leave, goddamn! <laughs> what if I was gifted it? Well, then, yeah, then I'd play the hell out of it, of course. <laughs> Same reason I play any free games people give me is like, yeah, I'm gonna play a free game, sure. That removes all of the problems I had, which is that the price point is, you know, too high. That's my one hang-up. Other than that, it's a great game. I got no qualms about it. Her tail's a dagger? Yeah, we, um... We, earlier on, because we don't seem to be able to knock her out of her invisibility, um, chat agreed that we could mod it in. And so the original plan was to just mod in her tail and then get the hell out of here, but, uh, she won't let us leave unless we kill her now. So, we are at an impasse. And have to murder her with a thousand cuts. Bye, next time humanity. No, no. We got this. We got this. We just gotta find her. There she is. Herg, come on. Ow. Lead buildup is 30 per strike, and once inflicted, will tear 30% of an opponent's HP for bandit dagger. Gotcha. So it's... Yeah, I guess it just depends on what those numbers actually mean. I think we'll be fine. Personally, I think we'll be fine. How does she do that much damage one hit? Good lord. Where are you? Are you dead yet? Got things to do today. There she goes. All right. Adios. Finally, we can go home. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Have I played Jedi Fallen Order? I have not. Or do I like Star Wars? I do like Star Wars. I really enjoyed the game, and it has some similarities to Dark Souls. So I've heard. Um, I do own it. Somebody was kind enough to gift it to me, but I have not gotten around to playing it. Too many other, uh, too many other challenge runs and things that have been going on. Haven't had the time. Alright, let's push this back up. The Church of Priscilla may not forgive you this time, Lemon. <laughs> Tread lightly. She didn't give me a choice. I don't know what you want from me. Wow, there's a lot of... Painting guardians over here. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's just go. Should probably go back. Should definitely go back. I'm just gonna go back. So I do not want to be sent back to the painted world again. Hey, gargoyle, how's it going? All right, see you later. Mm -hmm. Waifu murder. I hear Skyrim can jail you for that. Skyrim will jail you for anything. You can kick a chicken and they'll put you in jail. It's ridiculous. Alright. Just got here. What's the plan? The plan is to see if we can upgrade Priscilla's dagger. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
What is happening here? Hello? Uh, and then, uh, if we can't, or whether we can or not, we're going after uh, Ornstein and Smo next. Get up my stairs! I don't know you! That's my purse! Eh, alright, whatever. Wait, no, wait, ah! Fine, I guess I'll just stand here. <laughs> Did I get Priscilla's dagger? Uh, we were allowed to mod it in, but then, uh, you know, things happened. It's really not that bad in comparison. I'm excited about the moveset. I get to be... <laughs> I, get to, I get to spin to win. For real this time. Look how pretty we get to be. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. What do they call that in Game of Thrones? Is it the water blade or something like that? Water dancer. That's what it was. We're gonna kill everyone with water dancing. Alright. Is there a Gwyn soundtrack lo-fi? Uh, I think we did Plin Plin Plon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There should be. Alright. Uh, no. Not that. Uh, first things first. Can I reinforce this thing? Priscilla's dagger. Hey, we have a dragon scale. Sure. Why not? Uh, there's actually another dragon scale down below, if memory serves. Or is that Titanite? Nah, that's Demon Titanite, never mind. So with that said, a couple more points and uh, let's do Endurance so we can dance. So we just keep on dancing. Uh, too many humanities on the hotbar here. There we go. Alright, let's go. Which is my favorite Dark Souls? Dark Souls 1. The moveset on Priscilla's Dagger is pretty, but much shorter range than how it looks. Well then, I guess we'll just have to get in nice and close then, won't we? <laughs> Spencer from iCarly made it. She sure did. <laughs> Alright. Cool beans. I can't believe Lemon just lied to chat. What? My favorite game is Dark Souls 2. My favorite game, if I'm going for PvP, is Dark Souls 2. If I want Lauren's story, Dark Souls 1. If I want mechanics, Dark Souls 3. If I want to hate myself, Elden Ring. And if I want just an old clunky game that I can just kind of sit back and enjoy, Demon Souls. And Sekiro is a game that exists. Totally pulling for a one round orange scene in snow. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Do you plan on parrying? Uh, you can't parry them, so no. If it were a thing, I would. <laughs> Don't quantify it. Alright. <laughs> eh, we're fine. How about Bloodborne? Oh, that's right. Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne if I want spooky souls. Bloodborne is good if I'm feeling a little spooky. Or if I feel like I need my uh, my Lovecraftian fix. In which case, it is very nice for that. Ow! Really? From downtown? Still alive. We're fine. I guess I'm always surprised by how many people in chat are brand new to the channel. I feel like, because every, in every stream it comes up of whether or not I like Elden Ring. Every stream. And I, I don't think it's trolls, I think it's actually like people that are legitimately just confused. You gonna give me that parry? Yeah, you gonna give me that parry. Alright, you. Just gonna need you to sit down. Thank you. Don't, don't give Chad ideas. We don't need Dragon Slayer arrows here. We're not doing that yet. <laughs> I haven't figured out how that one works. Alright. There we go. Slayer, you made it, my boy. So something else I'm noticing about Priscilla's dagger here. The uh, crits, not good. Crit is bad. So what we're going to do... We're still fast rolling? Nice. If I ever do a parry, we'll use this bandit's knife, and if I ever just kill things, we'll use Priscilla to dance. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. 
Where is... Here it is. Hello. Cool. <laughs> Do a great pull only run from Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 3. I know, I know. Believe it or not, I purposely put that in your brain. Call it a YouTuber trick, but, uh... Purposely tried to rile you guys up about that one. <laughs> so, can we get a gun only run of Bloodborne? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, hey, buddy. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. How are we looking? 150. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I would like to get around you, please. Thank you. Let's see the bleed build here. Not bad so far. Work with the damage. My pretty princess spins. Work nice, work nice. If we didn't have this asshole getting jealous about it. Alright. Ornstein, can you like go literally anywhere else for a while? It'd be really great. Me and me and Small have some talking to do. <laughs> That's such a cool moveset. I really like it. Ah, Ornstein, seriously, dude. Like, fuck off for like two minutes. Just two minutes, that's all I need. Ah, oh, boy, you, you two. You kids, ow, ow, okay. <laughs> Can we do a Metroid Prime challenge, Morph Ball only? Morph Ball only? Never happened, can't be done. Can't be done. Yamp already did one. I know you have your hangups about copying. Well, here's the thing: is I'm I don't like to copy videos that have been done in a similar style to me. And I would argue that Yamfa videos are completely different than mine because you have to pay 100% attention, whereas mine is more of like background noise and commentary, whereas his is more of like a you know text and video kind of deal. No respect for that sippy break. I know. All right, let's try the let's try the bleed on the bandit knife. Maybe that'll help. Um, so I'm not 100% opposed to doing, redoing a Yamfa video. Especially if I think I can do it differently. Like, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that my Molotov only run was a bit different than Yamfa's um, consumable only. I know he was able to get to most of everything, or I think he got to everything actually. Which is great, whereas I was not, because I only did the one consumable. Um, but I still think it was different enough to be interesting. And also I think I did a couple bosses like strictly with Molotovs whereas Yamfa kind of ow, resorted to using like throwing knives and pebbles and things so different enough is what I'm trying to say uh, but anyway um, a lot of people have actually mentioned one second everyone take a real life sippy break that's the good stuff um but uh, some people in chat were, or not chat, but in the comments were mentioning that, like, they were trying to tell me that just because other people have done it doesn't mean other people have watched those videos. You know, like, if I say, like, oh, yeah, uh, Challenger Andy did that one, or Gamers Weekend did that one, a lot of people just, I guess a lot of people have kind of been saying, like, who? And then poking me again, like, no, you do it. <laughs> I came here, you do it. So, I'm not sure, uh... I don't know. I might have to lax it up a little bit on those challenge run ideas. Um, that said, I do like to still come up with interesting and unique ones. So that still dictates like I do some runs that you don't see as often. But, I don't know. We'll see. If we run out of all sorts of Dark Souls ideas, then maybe, maybe we can kind of start poking around with some of the ones that are already done, per se. What's my favorite... Root beer brand A and W. A and W is well, actually no. I take that back. A and W is good, but what's is it? Is it old? Is it old pug or something like that? There's a. What's the brand with the dog? It's like, it's like off brand A and W, and I drink that more than anything else. If I'm gonna drink A and W, if I'm gonna. 
mug. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. All right, Arnstein, you have been like a complete asshole today, and I am not about it. Can you like just go anywhere else, man? I'm a mug man. All right, so let's see. Just hacking and slashing. The bleed damage is good on Smo. That's really good, actually. The problem is Ornstein. That asshole just does not take a hint. And it really pisses me off. God, he's the worst. Alright. Well, maybe we can spare humanity. I don't really want to. Unless we get Super Ornstein. Yeah, nah. Not worth it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> poop run? Poop run is impossible. Like, 75% of the bosses are immune to toxic. So, can't do it. <laughs> Come on, Lemon. Why are you being bad? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Doing my best. Oh god. We're getting serious. I'm taking off the jacket. Here we go. That's it. The jacket is off. Little Aggie's done the poop run? Yes, he has. And the thing is, is and something that I kind of, uh, it's an unspoken rule on my channel, we don't do glitches on this channel. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've never done one. I used to always list in the rules. Now I don't really list the rules anymore. Um, so I kind of fell to the wayside. But yeah, we don't we don't do glitches. So in my mind, it's kind of the mentality of can the average gamer, without or like even like console gamers, because a lot of glitches are like, oh, that's only PC only. Ah, it's only such and such a console only. So it's just with. All intents and purposes, can you actually beat a run? Blah, blah, blah. You know. So. So glitches are off the table. Alright. Try Havel Armor? Eh. What's your third favorite color? Green? Ow. Really? Seriously? Just, just right like there? All right, Ernstein, that's it. You just got the front line. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> With a knee breaking glitch? Oh, that's not a glitch, that's a feature. All you do is hold up, it's not a glitch. And you break your wrists, not your knees. <laughs> yeah, that that game, man, that game is held together with duct tape. I tell you what. I tell you what. Green is number one color. Uh, all yours, man. You'll never guess which my favorite color is. It's not a glitch if they didn't remove it in the remake. <laughs> They didn't do a lot with the remake. I don't think that's really, um... I don't think that's really a good way to judge that. Alright, come here, big guy. Let's see if we can get you. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. Sorry, chat. We're gonna focus now. We're going full gamer mode. I apologize if it gets boring. <laughs> Come here, big guy. I got one or two words for you. Come on. Really? Caught me on that one, huh? Okay. Agree to disagree. Ornstein, Smo, you guys are the worst. 
If anyone in chat asked me what my least favorite boss was, it would be you guys. Because at least with a bit of chaos, I know how to do it. You two are just ridiculous. There's no good way to do ya. Slice and dice. Ow. Lag, come on. Alright, okay. That... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh my god. Don't make me do it. I'm about to play Minecraft. You watch. I'll do it. <laughs> you guys keep this up. I'm out of here. Uh, you know, maybe there is something to this whole daggers only being a challenge. <laughs> maybe there's something into it. Maybe you're right. Ow. Uh, Smo, seriously, can you just get caught like you're supposed to? I hate you too. Good lord. That's it. Doing Minecraft. You did this. <laughs> mm. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Try buffing your weapon? With what? I have nothing. I don't think. I could buff it with souls. Or, or cure poison. <laughs> yeah, we don't have anything else. We don't have anything else. Oh well. Imagine if I actually booted up. You know, I don't know if I actually have it installed. <laughs> it might. But I wouldn't know the first thing of what to do. Will it be a YouTube video? Uh, we're kind of trying to determine whether or not this run is worth making into a video or not. Throwing daggers are not allowed. Daggers are not the same as... In oh, wait. No, because they're called throwing knives, aren't they? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Judge, I see you trying to bring the bee, the bee cult back from the Discord, and I do not approve. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. Let it die. Ugh. Worthless. Worthless, these two. Ornstein, you're not even real. You're 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 just an illusion. I hope you know that. You die when I wake up. I hope you know that. <laughs> just like all my other dreams. <laughs> you guys ever have that happen to you, where you're in a dream and then somebody comes up to you and says, "Please don't, please don't wake up. I don't want to die." No, just me. All right. Well, you know. I'm your big guy. I don't know where your brother is, and I don't care. There he is. Found him. <laughs> Found him! Oh, good lord. Eh. <laughs> oh no, I'm chugging an Estus. What will you do? Oh, really, dude? It was a rhetorical question. It was rhetorical! Please stop hitting me! <laughs> oh, we're so close. We're so close. I'm gonna pay for it now, though, aren't I? Uh, not yet. Alright, Ornstein. Come on over here. There you go. Not what I meant! Ah! <sighs> Honestly. The hammer going through the pillars makes sense. The p that makes sense. The spear does not. Why can the spear go through everything? Just die, please. Thank you. Good God. Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh. Alright, what are you doing? What the f actual hell are you doing? Alright, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Just don't fuck it up. That's all you gotta do. Just don't fuck it up. Oh god, Lemon, you gotta fuck it up! <laughs> Alright. Swoop. Uh, 
All right, okay. So far, so good. Okay, run away. Maybe it's time for Priscilla Dagger, huh? The move set's better, the damage is better. I can work with this. I will dance you to death. I embarrass you in front of all your friends. That's right, it's time for a good old fashioned dance off. All you got is that booty bop. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Except me. I put you in a corner, I guess. Which one of us is baby? I don't know. I don't actually remember that movie. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. Nope, we're good. Confidence. Charisma. Other words that begin with C. I have them all. Oh no. <laughs> that is not okay. All right. Let's uh What's a word that begins with C that stands for evasion? Okay. We're fine. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Gonna need you to. I need you to just kind of relax. And let the blade do the work. There you go. There you go. Nope. No. Not we're interested in. Man, you guys weren't kidding about that bleed effect though. It uh, does not proc. Good lord. And like that, Hornstein goes down to the Lord of the Dance. I don't think this ring is actually going to help me, but I'll take it anyway. I'm taking the ring as a penalty! Alright, here we go. Moving on. We did it, boys. First try. Yeah! Spin to win. <laughs> All right, more health, please. Thank you. That's better. Lord of the Groove. All right. Yeah, I saw that as his first series try. I agree. C word is combat roll. Yes, there it is. I knew there was one there. Thank you. Da 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 da. -da, -da. Give me the Lord vessel. Thank you. <laughs> Can you do the harsh metal vocal screams? Uh, no. No, my vocal cords don't like that, so they don't, that doesn't work, no. Let's see here. Uh, we need to go to Farthing Shrine. <clears throat> do I archive my streams anywhere? I do. Uh, they are on the channel. If you go to the channel itself, if you go to the playlists, why am I hearing chickens? Um, if you go to the playlist, there is a live stream uh, playlist that has all of the VODs. I wouldn't leave you hanging. Okay. When did I start doing Soulsborne games? Um, when they came out. Um, I remember back when Dark Souls 1 originally dropped. And I played it then, and I hated it. Uh, but then I got back to... Um, I came back to it about six or eight months later, and I loved it. So. Alright, everybody. Simple, sippy break. Take your sippy break. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Gamers Weekend, thank you so much. It's nice to see you trying this run. Oh, buddy. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> when the voices tell you to do something, 
yeah, you, sh you should probably do it. I mean, let's let's be real. They're they're right most of the time. I think they haven't let us wrong right. <laughs> they haven't let us wrong yet. They told me to do this run after all, and look where we are now. All right, so what we're gonna do real quick, because we are at the point of the game where we get to run around, and do what we want, and I've still got about half an hour left. Let's get this. Let's get our Lord of the Dance Knife upgraded by stealing this dragon scale over here. That was a sharp joke. Oh, oh guys, stop! No. <laughs> but let's uh, let's try to Lord of the Dance this guy here. Hello, my good sir. Have I can I introduce you to the dance? All right. Well, no, didn't didn't like that. I guess. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What's what is the cheater's way of doing this? Climbing up here. Yeah. That kind of worked. Uh, what do you do? So what do you do? Where am I? Oh god. I am the Lord of the Dunce. Nice try, Bozo. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Props props where it's due. You got me on the backswing. How much health do you have left? Can't even tell. Uh, quite a bit. Cut you up real good. Okay. Alright. Doing great. He has a front bite? That's new. <laughs> Judge, get out. <laughs> I'm putting you on timeout. <laughs> I am the lord of the dance, said he. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we won't do that. Uh, let's go instead... Somewhere else. Let's just go somewhere else. Um, how about... Oh, we have to drop the Lord Vessel off, don't we? Before we do anything. Come on, game. Work with me here. I know we changed the music. I know that, that scares the computer. Wake up. Come on. I have things. I have things to give you. And words to discuss. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't want you to eat me. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you so I could feed you things. Can I feed you things upside down? Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> yeah. Lord Vessel, yada, yada. Try power within. We're kind of avoiding uh, using any spells at the moment. First stream you've caught live. Congratulations! Welcome! <laughs> you caught the tail end, I hate to say, but, uh, glad you made it. <clears throat> oh, boy. You can tell it's the tail end because my voice is leaving on me again. Alright, so I'll feed that to you, and I'll feed this to you, and you can have this one too. And this one as well, and this one too. I'm gonna keep those. Okay, thanks, bye! Liam! You remember Rage quitting after getting your butt kicked by the Taurus demon on your first run, then coming back months later and since then loving the game? Can relate. Can relate. I think my struggle was either the Gargoyles <coughs> or Capra. One of the two. Definitely one of those two. Alright. Moving right along. Let's go mess with Pinwheel. Let's, let's just, you know, joke him about Let's give him a good old joke. Damn, no feeding upside down framed. I think you can if you go down at the bottom. I just didn't bother. I just didn't bother. <laughs> he makes angry Furby noises. God, that's a... That's an old memory that resurfaced. Thanks for that. <laughs> can you resin for your dagger? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to go elsewhere to go do that, though. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna poke pinwheel real quick then we can figure that out because that would be helpful but I think because Priscilla's dagger is a uh, a boss weapon I don't think you can ow <laughs> you do not have enough groove for my moves 
Ah, oh, boy. Alright. In almost every run, yeah. Pinwheel's almost a joke in every run. By the way, I recently found out that the Dragon Head in Dark Souls 2 can't be upgraded in any way. Like, at least in Dark Souls 1, if you got enough scales, you could upgrade the damage a little bit, but, uh... Apparently, Dark Souls 2 says no, and all the things that normally boost fire damage also do nothing. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. That's gonna be fun. Can't wait to... Can't wait to dive headfirst into that. Should be a good time. Alright, Pinwheel, where are you at, bud? You down here somewhere? Ooh, okay, I thought I... Thought I threw myself off that ledge there. That was... Almost not okay. Gentlemen. Alright, Tony. Several Tonys. Alright, uh, time to leave. Oh, this is gonna bend real badly for me. I can tell already. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Can you use Gold Tracer? Gold Tracer is a sword. So, no. Unfortunately. Would have been great. That thing is amazing. Did I get the feet tagger? I don't think that's a thing. Oh. Oh, pinwheel, buddy. Gonna have to let you down, gentleman. And you go away. Where's the real one? There he is. Alright, just gonna... Yeah, a couple little, couple little spins here, a little spin to win action, and just like that, yeah, didn't have time to use his ultimate move. Oh well. Oh boy, place your bets now, chat. What's it gonna be? I'm guessing the kid. I'm guessing the kid. Oh, boo. I got the good one. All right. <laughs> I don't even need this. <laughs> uh, garbage. Garbage. Yeah, Pinwheel has one ultimate attack, and nobody, uh, nobody ever sees it. Nobody ever sees it. It's where he summons every single one possible, which is like f six or seven pinwheels. It's real good. Six or seven pinwheels all doing flamethrower attacks is kind of dangerous, but, uh, yeah, no, doesn't work. By feet, dagger, you mean Priscilla's. Oh, well, then, uh, yes, we do. We do indeed. Do I think I'll do a salt and sacrifice run? Yes, absolutely. Um, I, life has not been kind to me these past two months. I have not had a free weekend, um, to actually focus on getting out, like, longer videos, and I hate to say it, but salt and sacrifice is a longer game. There's about 35 bosses in it, I think. Um, so, I haven't had a whole lot of time. That said, I have started the Firebomb run, and it is moving along smoothly. I am really excited about it. Um, actually, was doing a little bit of recording for it this morning, actually. So, uh, but yeah, that should come out hopefully in about two weeks. One or two weeks. All right. Here, good to go. We have made it out. Life is good. And... We have made it. Alright, we got time, I think, for like one more boss. What do you guys want to see? What would be easiest? Um, if we go down to Ceaseless, that would be super easy. Uh, there is also... What we got? We got Ceaseless. Seath is too far along. <laughs> Gwyn. Yeah, okay. Let me just pop right into Gwyn real quick. We've done the Asylum Demon. Yep. Sif. Ceaseless. Sif. All right, we'll do Sif. We'll do Sif. We're going to pop some, we'll pop some souls or something, but that's okay. Um, Watching this stuff just hits different when eating cereal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Let's see. I saw a couple questions I missed. Apologies. Let's see here. Um... Are you interested in playing Thymesia? I have no idea what that is. Sorry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Will I do a normal run in Salt and Sacrifice? Uh, I've done plenty of those. Um, there's a couple streams of that, actually, if you want to see that. There's that is for sure. 
Uh, I think that's everything. I think that's the main questions I missed there. So, moving right along. Which, oh, I saw something about D&D. &D. That's what it was. That's the, that's the one I missed. Uh, is there fire bombs in D&D? &D? Yeah, it's called, uh, what is it? What is it called? Let me rest this real quick. <sighs> Alchemist fire. It's Alchemist fire. And I, I promise, I promised that uh, by the end of this week, I wanted, what I want to do is I want to put out a silly video on the second channel uh, where I just talk about how to make Alchemist Fire work for you in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so if you want to do a firebomb build, you can. Now granted, of course, there is, there is a Dark Souls version of Dungeons and Dragons, uh, which you can, in fact, use firebombs in, which is great. Makes me very happy. Um... And I believe if you pick the Pyromancer class in that version, it actually increases all fire damage you do regardless. So yeah, pick Pyromancer and then just buy as many fire bombs as you can. Easy, uh, easy win. But uh, yeah, but I would love to do a how to make a fire bomb build in Dungeons and Dragons. I will probably throw that video together really quickly tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a lot different than my other videos because it's going to be rather freeform. I'm not going to write a full script of it. I'm just going to write some bullet points and then I'm going to record it. Uh, probably with a cup, throw a couple images onto the back of the screen and then just call it good. Uh, and you guys will have to let me know if that's any good for you. Um, most, of, most all of my videos are scripted. So uh, that's kind of where I feel like I shine is writing scripts for things. Um, you know, it's where I feel my funniest it's where i feel the most collected and like i can get my points across uh where am i going by the way what was i doing <laughs> sif sif okay um I knew it was going the right way i just didn't remember why uh but yeah so it'll be interesting it'll be kind of more free form it'll be on the second channel so it won't goof up any algorithm nonsense or anything like that uh but yeah we'll give that a run and for those of you that forget uh, that I have a second channel. Uh, first off, it's at the end of all my videos, so that's how you can do that. Uh, but if um, if you do forget it, I will make a community post as well to just kind of promote that and see what people's opinion of it is, because I, I would like to know if uh, making freeform content on the second channel is good or if you guys want me to just stick to script stuff. So you'll absolutely make an NPC in my campaign that uses the build you come up with. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I hope it's a one-shot. <laughs> the Alchemist Grenadier from Pathfinder? Right, yeah, exactly. There is a 3.5 fire bomber already. Grizzik, thank you so much for the tip. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but as far as 5e is concerned, there's probably a way to make it work, and I will find it. I have an idea. I think I know. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, stay posted for that. I'll try and get that out by tomorrow. I do that more. Uh, if you're going to do Dark Souls 2 daggers only, what dagger would you like to use? I don't know. That's the thing. I didn't really use them. <clears throat> I think there's a cool dagger that you get in the DLC that might be interesting to try. But we'll, we'll see. It's called Fireball. <laughs> no, no. That's That requires magic. The whole point of a Firebomb build is that you don't have to invest in intelligence. The whole point is you don't have to invest in anything. So, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Vigil of the Longest Night, can you do more? It was fun to watch. Uh, I'd like to. There's a couple more challenge runs I could do in it, for sure. Um, I haven't checked on how it's doing, though. Uh, we need to kind of see if it, there is actual interest or if it's more of a niche kind of game. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm more than open to playing niche games. Or rather, you know, like, I don't... If I wasn't, I would be doing. I would just be doing Dark Souls all the time. But obviously, I, you know, give a couple indie games some a try here and there. Um, so I'm open to the idea. Ow! Kind of thought I dodged that, but okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm open to the idea of doing some more Vigil. Um, but it'll probably be at a time when I need. It's currently at 100,000 views. Yeah, it's not bad. That's about. Uh, 
about middle range, I'd say. I mean, we've got a couple runaway videos, of course. Like, I don't, I don't know. There's some crazy ones out there. And last week's was, or let, this weekend's was really good. People seem to be really enjoying that last one. Um, but uh, yeah, I generally speaking, I tend to kind of go by the rule set of if a video hits two hundred thousand, or if a like a a game hits two hundred thousand, then that was a good idea, and I should probably do more of it. So. Um, so at the current time, it's currently on its way, and I'm not saying, like, everyone go watch it, like, 100,000 more times. <laughs> you know, don't don't bother, it's okay. Um, one of these days, I'll probably get kind of cinched for time and need a quick video, and that would be a good one to do. Because it is a very easy game, uh, and at this point, I think I know it well enough that I can kind of breeze through it. So I would be more than happy to do, like, a bow-only run or something like that, just to kind of give that a try. Or fists only, maybe. Because that can actually get really good. So. Anyway. Would I be willing to try Blasphemous again? Ugh, I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe. I'd, I'd like to try it. I, I'm hopeful that by letting it sit for a while, it'll, you know, be better this time around. But that said, uh, that did not work for Elden Ring. So, <laughs> I'm kind of... Suddenly, now I'm kind of doubtful. I'm like, uh, maybe I just, when I don't like a game, I don't like a game. I don't know. Because it does have some flaws that I do not, like, some mechanical flaws that I just don't like. Sif, honey, I need you to, like, work with me here, okay? Oh, thank you. That was nice of you. <laughs> oh, nope. She lied. There we go. Um, yeah, because Blasphemous, I, <laughs> for one, People really didn't like that I didn't like it. <laughs> the Blasphemous community is uh, very reminiscent of the Dark Souls community in that they get very defensive when you don't like their game. Um, which is probably one of the main reasons I haven't made that Elden Ring video, because I would have nothing good to say about it. And so, you know, that's how we go from having 160,000 views, or 160,000 subscribers to 10. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I... It's just, it has some mechanical problems, and you can't fix that with a second playthrough, you know? So, I don't know if that would really fix it. But we'll see. We'll see. I think I missed a couple bosses and things, so I, I do owe it that. I do owe it that much, but, um... I don't know. Later. Maybe later. That might be one of those, hey, chat pays me to play a game kind of thing. We'll see. How about Hades? You know, I've never played it. Um... Spencer talks the hell out of it. He, he says it's a great game, and I trust him on that regard. Um, so it's definitely on the backlog. Where are you going? Sif, what are you doing, man? Come on. Oh, man, my timing's just off today. Uh, it's on the backlog. And someone pointed out that there is a grenade launcher. So, yeah, we've... Uh, it's on the list. <laughs> it's on the list. Firebomb Academy will have its due. Oof, Sif, honey. There we go. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Blasphemy, Devour the Gods. Uh, don't know. Is that another game? Blasphemous is something else. It's a Metroidvania. There's a couple, like, Souls likes that are on my wish list and things that I just really need to get around to at some point. But, uh, I don't know. I just. I only have time for, like, two random videos a month on this channel. Um, you know, because I gotta have... We got There's always a Dark Souls video to do. There's always at least one of those a month. Um, and I, I appreciate... I actually like doing that, so... That's not going anywhere. Um, and then I generally only have time for about three videos. Four if it's a good month, but... So, it's kind of hard to squeeze in... Oh, wow. Got him alive. Okay. Uh, hard to squeeze in three more games, you know. But we'll see. October sounds like it's going to be full of new games. What with, uh... <laughs> well, really? What, like a clip by a toenail? <laughs> okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Sip, honey. Oh. You want a Firebomb Academy shirt? Me too. Me too. Um, I have... A couple people kind of thinking it over and figuring out a design for it. We're gonna... It's gonna be fun. But I also need to make sure that everyone is happy with the Tony t-shirts. 
like the quality of them, I should say, uh, before we, you know, start doing that one. Because if people aren't happy with the quality or if they'd like it to be a little bit better, then I need to find a new company to go through. Um, but the one I went through this time was actually really good um, as far as just, you know, doing things with them. They were really agreeable and it was really nice. I had no, pr and they, they, you know, they got everything to me in a timely manner, so I was really happy with it. So hopefully everyone likes the t-shirt quality as much as I do, but we'll see. Are tracers considered daggers? The silver tracer is, the gold tracer is not. That one magical pixel, I know, right? Killed by thigh gap. Yeah, basically. Let's, uh, let's put our humanity on the bar just to be safe, so we don't have that problem again. Elden Ring is perfect until it isn't, and then it is, and then it isn't. Yeah. Yeah. For me, unfortunately, it's it's too long of a time period between the good times and the bad. Like, I enjoy playing Dark Souls, like, 100%. You know, there's, like, one or two bosses that are kind of bummers. Well, there's probably more than that. But, like, there's a couple bosses that are bummers, but the actual gameplay itself is pretty solid. So, with Elden Ring, I uh, just, you know, like, I just feel like it's 90% bummer and then 10% like yay I'm fighting a boss I'm having fun and then like there's then of course there's also the bummer bosses where I'm like okay I want the good bosses where did the good boss go and then you know combine that with 45 hours of walking between them all and I just I just can't do it I just can't do it man <laughs> bad sif paw no paw down sif drop it <laughs> yeah ow okay we could make a firebomb cult in the Cult of the Lamb game. You know, I'd watched uh, Ray Narvaez Jr. play that one a little bit. And it's like, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just wanted to see what it was. It looks really cool. Um, the problem, of course, is that it's Twitch integration. I don't think it's YouTube integration. So we would not be able to actually, you know, make followers and things like that. So we'd kind of lose out on a big draw of the game. So I have contemplated playing Frostpunk and just doing a firebomb cult there, but, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Elder Ring is too long for you? Same. Same. Bioshock Infinite with Vigors only? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's on the list. Um, people who have played Bioshock 3, like, earlier than I have, because I haven't played it since it came out, um, and I didn't really use the Vigors then. So people that have played it recently have told me that I'm in for a bad time. So that'll be good. Can't wait for that. Would I try a curved sword only run? I mean, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, <laughs> it's whatever. I don't mind doing any kind of, you know, just this kind of weapon run. I like doing the show. I like doing showcases. It's pretty cool. Like for this one, if I make a video, it won't be with this footage. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll showcase Priscilla's dagger because I don't think I think a lot of people are sleeping on it um, Which would be pretty cool Because if I did just a daggers run as we saw earlier uh, You know kind of showcase it right now um, If you just do just daggers like this bandit dagger here can carry you through the entire game the bleed is insane It's way too strong and so that's not really and I feel like a lot of people that watch me for the suffering would kind of feel cheated of that so if we pick a more interesting, like, just one type of dagger, it might be better. So if you have Curved Sword in mind, uh, pick one that's not used. And that people might be, like, interested in seeing. Because that would be fun. Is Priscilla Tail the final build? It will be. Yeah, see, like, there's that bleed. Look how... That, you just ch chunk. Chunk, you know. The Great Boat Run. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that one... <laughs> That one doesn't need a, uh, that one doesn't need any kind of nonsense to it. That's going to be hard as it is. The timing on that's going to be real difficult to figure out. All right, Sif, who's the, better, who's the better dancer here? Oh, I see you also know how to spin to win. But I, too, have been taught by the Lord of the Dance. We shall see who has learned the teachings more. Seems like just comboing into it is not good damage wise ow really but doing the single attack seems to work pretty well uh oh ah. you know Sif I'm gonna let you have this one I'm gonna let you have this one 
<laughs> For a second you thought you were expecting to hear what is love. <laughs> oh god. There's power sensing in Dark Souls 1? No, there's not. Um, you, I just have one in each hand and I use this one to parry. That's all. <laughs> First time, if late. Yay! You are. You are very late. <laughs> very, very late. That's the parry dagger? Yes, indeed. Look how cool it is. No. Stop our two hand and just our one spam. Nah, it doesn't work as good with this one. The damage isn't as good. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, I think, thanks to you all, we I think we figured out what kind of dagger video I will be making, which is great. That was, uh, I was c confused about that one, but now we know. So hey, hooray. Um, as far as everything goes, uh, like I said, if you get, if you ordered a t-shirt and you get one, if you would so kindly let me know how it turned out for you and if you enjoy it, that would be great. Um, just because it would be really nice to, you know, I need to know that kind of stuff for whether or not for future merch. So, uh, but yeah, just throw that in the Discord if you don't mind. That'd be awesome. They should be coming sometime between tomorrow and two weeks from now, depending on where you live. Um, no video this weekend. I have... A lot of IRL stuff happening, and I won't be back until Tuesday. Um, got a lot of stuff going on there, so, you know. We'll have to deal with that first. Uh, but yeah, other than that, though, um, just kind of keep being you. Keep doing a good job, you guys. Really appreciate y'all popping by. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for all the support, as always. Um, if you missed the stream, you can go see the VOD. It's on the channel. Just go to the channel and go to playlists. It'll be right there, all with along with all of our other live streams. So do what you need to do there. And until then, hang in there. Where can you buy merch? Uh, currently, there's no more merch. The, uh, the merch hit its batch, and that was it. So uh, you'll have to wait until I make another announcement. Um, sorry. <laughs> Uh, just uh, just just watch a couple videos. That's about the same thing. So, anyway, everyone, take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. And have a great day.